they're, they yeah, realize yeah, how I, disrespectful I, I it is. Yeah. But I actually was on time. Welcome to Chick Chat Comedy Podcast. My name's Patty Rossboro, and I am here with my lovely hostess, uh, co-hostess, the beautiful Carrie Caravis. Oh, thanks, she's Patty. Here, I we, love it when she says beautiful. We have <laughs> a terrific guest that we have wanted to get on our show. Forever. I'm in love. <laughs> From the very beginning. I don't know what happened, but at, He's one a snob. thing happened after a no. fucking... No, I think it was kind of our fault, because we kept screwing up, but... Mm. The terrific, the Let's funny, the hilarious, the opinionated, <laughs> the Dave Juskow Hello, everybody. Is here. Great love, to be here with I you two whores. <laughs> <laughs> he actually has his own podcast. Usually we do our, our, our uh, shout-outs at the end, but say the name What's of your the podcast. What's the name of your podcast? It's called The Nightfly with Dave Juskow. The yes. Nightfly? Yeah, nobody really listens, but the I've done night? almost 200 podcasts coming up on it. He does them every I do week. do it every week. I don't care Wait a minute, what's it called? The Nightfly. The, the Nightfly. Night and he does not, you usually don't have guests either. No, you it's do. I, I, I usually go off and on, but um, I love doing it myself. I can talk for hours. Where do you do so. it? In your bathroom? Um, if I do it by myself, sometimes I do it in my bedroom because then I can overlook the East River. But if I have a guest, I do it in the Look living room because you. Uh, you know the ladies don't like to come into the East bedroom if they River. think there's going to be trouble. Do you ever see any bodies flow by? Sure. East River? Hmm. Of course I have. I live in New York and I'm from New Jersey. I've <laughs> okay. seen it all. Well, I'm kind of amazed that you can just talk. Like, Carrie, would you be able to? Yeah, I could. No, I could. For nonstop? You just keep talking about anything? He goes from... For like an hour and a half. He did Paul McCartney to hair things. Burt Reynolds, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's why I couldn't come last week, because I got hair transplants. Oh, you got your hair done. Oh, Where? that's it. There, it's now. It's been it's ten days, so in. you can't tell. It's like it's, wait a minute. There it no takes plugs? a year. It's like Remember a Remember those pad. plugs? Yeah, no. That's why I did it because my mother said I told you to do that twenty years ago. Let me see. Put your head she always down. wants me to get plastic surgery, but I'm what? like, they didn't have the Your technique. Your mother did not tell you to get plastic oh, surgery. Don't you know how it began for me she in 1989? She made me have a mad. nose job. My grandmother no. made me get a nose job. No. What? what was your nose like before this? I, it's on YouTube. You can look up on the Morton Downey show. Do you remember that show? <laughs> you guys remember me from back then? I had a big nose. I don't well, you know you're I just saw, I was on the Norton show and they showed and they found it on YouTube. <laughs> it's um, this Morton Downey slasher thing. You can see my old nose, and my it grandmother probably... saw it. She go, I, I go, what do you think of the show? She goes, we have some money put aside. <laughs> that that was her first response, and I'm like, where's this going? She goes, Families you need so to get mean. a nose job uh, quickly. And Why? Um, Why? yeah, because so she, I got. But that's your back character. I can't see him. That's well, your character. Your nose. Well, is a I man, never even thought a... about it until they mentioned it, and then I was like, "This is the worst nose of all time." But it's not until somebody brings it up. I like a man you know? with a nose. Oh, I, like I don't like get a big nose. On I like it. I, like I never a big thought nose it was that big, too. but then once you know they said it, I couldn't stop. The uh, the subway doors were closed. I'd move back because I thought it was that big. <laughs> How big problem. was it? It wasn't that big. So I went to the doctor. He goes, "Your nose isn't that big. You just don't have a chin." So I'll give you a chin, <laughs> oh and we'll God. take a little off the nose. Yeah, that's what happened. What they added a chin? They added a chin when I. Decompose, you'll be able to see that there's like a plate. You oh, should not be in an hour. What is it metal? <laughs> it's not metal. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what it is. You know, the doctor's always like, here's what we're going to do. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I trust you. Don't, hey, I don't so care crazy. to know what's going to happen. Know I have everything. to trust you. They put you under? My sister got it first. What, the nose job? Yeah, my mother what? has been a stickler for making and you sure still that didn't we're pretty. get married. I know. And the worst part is, I was on a TV show about a year ago, and the exact same thing happened. I what do you think of the show? And my sister goes, you know, we have some money put aside. And I'm like, <laughs> you're, you're just you joking, now? right? Because we've been making She goes, no, no, no. Mommy and I think you should get your eyes done. Your eyes done. How did no, you know I was going to say that? Obviously. That? Uh, no, obviously. I never even thought about that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you except the puffy bags under Stop your eyes. Really? I never no, even bothered me. That's like the one thing that doesn't bother me. The hair's always bothered me. But the, the eyes never bothered me. I don't have a problem with it. Okay, well, everybody else that. does. Okay, get your eyes up. Gonna say, lose some is, weight. But if the money's aside, do it. No, here's the thing. But they don't have any money put aside. I don't know why they said that. You were talking about Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Burt Reynolds has the wor- had the worst. He had his eyes pulled back. Okay. Yeah. He went overboard. Looks like shit. He looked terrible. He went over yeah. fucking eyes alone. Well, Same that's thing so they didn't with... have the good technology when he Here's did the problem with Burt Reynolds. Better. He was such a hot sex symbol back in the day. And then when he got older, he started started getting ugly and yeah, it couldn't work. handle it. Yeah. Right. Just let it go. And the same thing with the yeah, got and in Sally Field's book, it sounds like he's a real asshole too. Yeah, I, I think he is. Things, I don't think he Who's the you well, got Don't ruin says. it for me. Sorry. Know when to hold it, know when to fold uh, it. She, yeah. What's that guy his fucked name? up. Kenny, Kenny Rogers? Kenny Rogers, his eyes oh, are like big, right. wide. Yeah. He had like handsome. I want to get that though. 
Oh, I could God, see myself it's doing that. Terrible. I'm superficial, and my mother and sister make me that way. You know what? We're it's crazy. A, can I just say that is a Jewish thing? Like, Joan Rivers did it to her daughter. Like, her daughter was yeah. in high school. Leave your kids alone. Re- if they leave say, them alone. I mean, if I had money, I would get a nose job. But my mother but never said one. to me, you, don't you need, need a nose one. job. Well, let me you see your profile. It's terrible. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this side, no, you just have the bump, it. but it's not big. But you have right. the bump, yeah. I don't even know that I would do the bottom, but I want to take that But out. it's funny. And you, I I've never, ever noticed, like, uh, your nose before. Why do you want but your now nose Now that you mention it, now I well, can't take my eyes off it. it tips down. It tips down. you got to have it Wait, now, I want to hear about the hair thing because my husband's a bald prick. I know. What's going on? Now, I don't see any plugs. Well, okay, so the thing what is, so they do? first of all, again, the techniques have changed, which is why I did it. Now they take the hair. It's, I'm from in a lot your of balls. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> Where do they, they take, take it the hair from, from the back? Your oh, back. my husband! My husband's a perfect candidate. Then you know, you know how the captain of the love boat always the hair on the side, and the captain Picard, all captains in the Star Trek and the love boat. Yes. they all have the hairs on the side and the back. That's what always grows for everybody. Ah. and so they take it from the back. No, the back of your head, not back your of back. your head. Oh, yeah. I, I think you meant no, no, back. No, no I'm my husband not Greek. Has, no. I thought they're taking oh. off your back. No, I, I am not Greek. My uh, <laughs> so no, they take the back of your hair, and then they put it in the front. Now the so the thing, so they're here, but they're microscopic. So in ten days, you know, they scrub off off the the the, the, the grossness and the uh, you know the blood and the, and the crust well, and the scab. And now it doesn't look like anything's I don't happened. What they and did. then it's going to get worse before it gets better. Hold on, they take. It I'm from not the sure what they did either. And they stick it in with needles. I really actually don't know. See, I, like crazy. I said, he I didn't want to know. Can you so what scooch happens? up? I can't see you good because your hair is big. What scooch the, up that way. Yeah, move yeah. up a little. Just so like what, an inch or two. What happens okay? with the yeah, back of your head now? Now the back is full. <laughs> the back, I have staples in there now. It, it hurts so <laughs> oh bad. Oh, my see the staples. God. How bad? Yeah. I'll show you later. It's like oh, okay. A, no, I don't mind showing it. It's just like I have to go back. But it's like I had 86 staples Who told you to get it? Frankenstein. Some of the guys. The comics. Uh, actually, Paul yes. Mercurio. No. David Tell. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I used their doctor. I know. Uh, oh. Okay, it's got to be a friend. Who's the guy you think is hot with the big white teeth? Russ Manese. Yeah, Russ Manese. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Russ, I promise you. That. Russ is perfect. Because he has perfect Russ, hair, Russ Manese. Russ is perfect, Russ is perfect in every way. That's because he eats Russ properly, Manese. he exercises, he's yes. so dreamy. I mean, And he has whatever. no wife. He has no wife, so it's he's weird. relaxed. Yeah. But he can have one if he chooses to. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He's banging everybody. He is really, he? Yes. Of course. Oh and he bangs God. everybody? Nobody. He nope. does, but it, yeah. it's a, you know he's got a thing for Asians. Everybody knows that. It's not I didn't know that. I don't know I so know um, I invite this girl Asian. from my building, who, and she's got this Asian friend, and we're doing a show at the at the salon. Right. No offense, and um, <laughs> this place will be closing. And they, uh, you're they an could, ass. Boom! And then um, so she, uh, so we, I, we come upstairs and we're drinking, and within really thirty seconds, and I remember we're all like fifty. He's making out with this girl he had just met. Of course, how old is so the girl? Impressive. 32. Look up Russman Eve. You're I all, but he's I gorgeous. Unbelievable. He's gorgeous. I, I, but, you know, the fact that he's gorgeous, he seems like a player to me. I all right. Like so what, guys. what, Patty, well, what, what are you talking about? He's a player. player. He doesn't want to get married yes. for a reason, so he can be a player his whole life. He's a great guy. He's so he's handsome. I and, love Russman And the best part about him also, if we always, me and Artie always used to talk about him, that he's just... Um, his apartment is like um, like an adult. Like he decorated it like an adult. Me and Tell are always. Yeah. We've always been fascinated because he goes, "Wow, he's a real man." He like decorated his apartment. Like, like <laughs> I've lived in my apartment twenty years. It looks like I moved in. You know? <laughs> this is the only reason people don't think I'm gay because there's no decorating and no uh, fashion style. Those are my only two things. <laughs> Otherwise, having a cat and being this old and not being married is pretty. Just you do you know, have a cat. I had one. She just died a year ago. Oh, Are you getting horrible. another one? I know. Don't no, cry because over um, I was very, very upset. Very upset for I a long time. I lost my cat too for but, years. Um, I'm not going to get another one because it's a lot. Uh, you're more freer. Yes. Uh, I know it's ridiculous, but I was upset. Like when I'd sleep out or something. I'd Hold be, on like, a worried. second. You can leave a cat for like four months. Not no. when you're attached. And and, and come you back. Be the home cat immediately. Give two and I'm, I know you're right, but in your head. You're thinking about her all the time when you're staying in a hotel That's or something. That's creepy, like, I what she's creepy, doing. Isn't creepy. It, if you love your cat, no, you why have an, is it creepy? It's an attachment. I, that's when my cat died. I was I was away. I was in um, Atlantic City. I was gone for five days, but my fiancé was home. But she would go in and out, and I'd feed her during the day, and Wait, she went out and never Did you say your fiancé is a girl? You're... He's a man. Okay, can I just she say another thing? She said my fiancé and she. She's a cat. We oh, have a month. How sure many days was... now? Since it, the last time was a no, week, seven days. No, no, no. How many days are left to get the marriage to, to get the marriage license? Well, I have to get it, and once I get You're it, get I get married. Always, but now you owe me twenty five dollars. No, I said it within a month. Okay, that $10, was ten dollars. I said. Who so was the one was, who told you not to get married the first time? 
Uh, Dave Juskow. And I'm going to tell you again, I don't want you getting married a second time. You be careful this time. Let me, let me look, take a look at this guy. Make sure he's okay. He's not gay. Are and he positive? has a house. Yes. That's what she said about the last one. No, I, I never said he wasn't gay. I said oh. he was bi and he thinks he can control Oh, my God. Himself. You are real dumb. I know we've already gotten this out of our systems. right? Remember, I had to wait 20 years to tell Dave you. Dave Jesco told me I ruined my life. Oh. I was so I, upset I ruined with my you, career but... and my life, and that I purposely ruined it. Well, her career was Sorry. on the rise. Her career, she oh, was like uh, on. Please don't get me started. Okay. But... I've, we've already had Patty and I have already had this conversation. I hadn't seen her in twenty years, <laughs> and I'll, I've been waiting twenty years to tell her your career was on the rise, and you blew. And I, I, I can't go over it again. I know she feels bad about it. No, so... but you know. But the thing that it was so on the rise. She, she had endometriosis. I had endometriosis. And Nobody I had knows what that is. Okay. It's a bunch of skin or Blood whatever. Blood cysts. Up your patootie. No, no, on your uterus. Huh? On your uterus. Up in my on uterus. The wall. Up in, so when you go up in the vagina, Uh-oh. it hurts. You say the that penis. Is chick chat. It goes. It hurts. <laughs> vagina. Because you have blood cysts. So when you uh-huh. a penis goes in, it pushes against the blood cysts. It's like ow, 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 ow. So I had to get the blood cysts taken out. They went in. They burned them all out. And the guy said to me, "If you're going to have a baby." Have it now while the blood cysts are all burned out because you may not be able to have one again. I was like, that's all I need to hear. All any I gay to man, face. any man. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I, I was not going to I actually kept my mouth said it was really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> he specifically but said have it with a gay man. <laughs> I had my kids. I'm How bad. mad am I? I, can, I have trouble you getting hard been... in front of an actual, I'm not gay. And this guy, had, what do you get, two, right. three kids? What, he, two kids. He's you but know, I, coaxed, I coaxed it out of him. He coaxed it because she oh, he would always good. bang her from behind. You... Oh, right. I and she kind of was that. skinny and uh-huh. looked like a boy. So, <laughs> Okay, that is not And a hole is a hole. So, uh, All right, uh, let's uh, now. She's Greek. She let's knows how now. Work. Whoa, that was so hurtful. Can we talk about what? How about the fact that you're pulling one over on your husband? Can oh, I want to sell my house. And explain why. Because it doesn't. But, so my husband thinks we're downsizing, but we're really not. We're upsizing. I want a bigger. Now, why house. would you marry somebody who's gonna well, got a downsize for? Yeah, he no. Because she's already married to him, so it's too. No, late. I know, but I'm saying I don't think you messed up, right? You married. You married up, didn't you? I mean, up yeah, but from are you guys what? okay financially? Up from an a, from an actor, yes, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Right. Yeah, no, I have a guy with a pension, and yeah, uh, that's you know. what I assumed. I didn't think you were going to get married to some bozo. No, he's got. He's Seems making okay. money. He's making all right, money. That's but, all I want to hear. But Carrie spends money. But I spend it. But she looks. Like I want to upsize. Well, who doesn't know to... that if you're going to get married to her anyway? I mean, he's got to be expecting. <laughs> exactly. that. Should have been prepared. So you, I want to upsize play cards to... together. What? No, Did he you doesn't play, play cards, cards in the day. No, you here? Know, she likes to gamble. Yeah. I played here at the comic strip. I was just cards? talking about it last night. Yeah, we played right on the stage, but the stage was over there. Poker. Oh, you did? But, but I don't play poker. I did it here. This was the only time I did it. A couple nights oh, wait, a week, I'd have was... a poker game here. It was really fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I, yeah, I, me I never and Danny with Vermont you. and a couple other people. Like, and, that, and then there was a controversy. Why? I was just talking about it last night. I, I, I feel like it was with this kid, Brad Trackman, and uh, they, they accused him of cheating. Uh, and, uh, counting cards. I think so, but I, I could be mistaken. But that's why I was talking about it last night. It was so I was like, I wonder if that's the guy. If I remember that, they were, it, you know, it was a big to do. It was exciting. You know, <laughs> yeah. You we know, never like, played with Eddie Brill though, right? Because we always. Oh, I you I we used to I go played. to his house, right? Yeah, I didn't like playing. I used to sit on the couch and right, just right, watch right, and right, hang right, out because right, right. those guys were hilarious. <laughs> that was my favorite thing to do: is watch TV, get a little high, drink, yeah. and just watch them play. I never wanted could, to be in the even game. Even if you didn't smoke pot, you got high because it was yeah. like oh a my cloud God, of pot in that room. Yeah. But I, was, I always had a thing over my but face. But to be invited number one was an honor. Right, because yeah. they didn't invite everybody. No. And, um, I was and, there every weekend. You know, I think they would every have left. You were there every week? Every Monday I was You there. were? You were there every Monday? Well, oh, oh, you used to play. Yeah. I oh, yeah, no, did. I just never played, How so they let gamble? me in anyway. How much would Whatever you? it was. It was know. really nice that they let me in because I never wanted to play. I just liked hanging out. They liked you. Yeah. Yeah, you're, everybody likes you. Yeah. What's not to like? I don't know. I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm a little outspoken and kind of mean. I don't know why people... <laughs> My mother was just asking me that the other day. That is actually really <laughs> My father hated me for a long time because he's like, why do you have so many friends? You're a, a real dick. jerk. That yeah. is a terrible thing for your father to say to you. That he is hated terrible. Me. Well, his parents are obviously he hated him. Yeah. You're disappointed in him. No, no um, they weren't disappointed. He just was angry. He was very jealous for some reason. Of you? Lots of people are jealous of me, and they don't seem to realize. Your like, father? Come yeah, on. Yeah, no, he, he was very jealous that I had a lot of friends. He never had friends, uh, oh. so he was very jealous of that. But it's funny if people are jealous because, you know, I work at a law firm. Like, I have a regular job. What do you do It didn't work firm? out for me. So anybody that's jealous <laughs> of me is out of their mind. You know, like, they're crazy. <laughs> but even people at work are jealous. And they're like, what? Of what? Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm not even a lawyer. 
What are you at the law firm? Well, You're now a I got a promotion. I know. You. That's what I'm trying to say. A failed, no. <laughs> a failed comedian. Failed comedian. That's a failed okay. lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even. Wait. Well, did law you school. try to pass? Did you go to law school? No, I hated school. I hated all. I was. You know, I got. I could tell my nieces that I got half on my SATs. I only got an eight. 30 after taking it three times. That's wow. half. I don't even know. My, they were like, how did Uncle David get into college? And my sister was like, uh, it was a personal interview. He's very charming. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays, there's no way I could have gotten into college with those but are you poor happy? grades. And... Are you happy? Uh-oh. I, That's too long of a I go back pause. and forth. I, I, don't, I don't think I am. I get very depressed. Although, see, in sometime in June, and I marked it on my calendar, <laughs> oh, I made a decision to try and not be depressed anymore. Just to pretend you have. And that's when I decided to get my hair done. But why so are you funny depressed? You mentioned but that. why do you think you're depressed? Because you don't have a family, the wife, it, the kids. What did you really want all that? I absolutely did. I've, since oh, you day did? one, I was always the guy who wanted a family. Oh. Yeah. That's about, but now you, it's not too late, is it? Too no, late? No, uh, you know it is a man's world, uh, no matter what anybody says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. it's not it's too late. It's kind of too late. Do you have no, a girl? It's not. Do you have a girl? How old are you? Are you 54? over fifty? Okay, it is too late. What are you talking about? Well, I'm a can... man. I can have it whenever no, I want. I'm not I don't know. It's saying... like what about Steve Martin? He just had he's seventy one. He but, had one. I okay, think. is that fair to the fucking child? No, it's not fair at all. But that's you know what I'm just saying. <laughs> but so, and you it can he likes, happen. He likes the young girls though, so that that'll work out because if you still want a baby, she's got to be in her thirties. It's not 30s. that I I do I, I don't like him on purpose. That's all I mean. <laughs> I mean, I meet a lot. I used to say that, that, first of all, that's all that wants to go out in the office after work. Are young um, girls? 23, 24. That's oh, all that's you meet young. when you yeah, go but out. but they're not yeah. going to want to have a baby Adam with you. That. Well, not yet. <laughs> Those, well, some of them are crazy, and they have a lot of daddy issues, thank God. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. So who are you saying? Uh, are you dating anyone now? No, I'm not dating anybody now, but I did. Um, once I don't remember you ever with a serious girlfriend. Yeah, I really. I mean, it's been very rare. I mean, the longest relationships I had were maybe three a weeks, bit, but a year or so, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, you never brought her around. You know how difficult it is to find somebody in the business. I mean, you no. guys both know. It can't know. be that difficult. Look, here's Look the deal. Look what you did, Look Patty. Look at me. I married. And then you got out and married somebody normal. I, I mean, got you know a gay. I had a gay guy. Who was I a was comic, down right? thirty thousand dollars. I had been fired from my radio job. I had two kids, and I found a guy. So I think you can find oh, somebody. Oh, I'm sure I can. It's just, and, but the, yes, well, you that had to does go through depress. serial killer after serial that's killer. That's true. I did. Well, that, that's the thing. I, I always realize, too, I, you know, I'm from Jersey and I hang out in Jersey a lot. And I do really well in New Jersey. Because in New Jersey, I'm like a hero because, you know, I got a place in the city and I got a job. Right. But here, uh, my place ain't that great and my job's not that great. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but in New Jersey, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, they don't know. <laughs> right. They have no idea. They're like, Ooh, oh, and he, you know, he hangs out at the comedy Manhattan club. Night. Oh, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. So it's different. But um, I don't know. I still have hope. I still have well, High hopes. If you do? I, if yes, I, I do. weren't married right the second, let's just say, <laughs> yeah. hypothetically speaking, yes. wishing, uh, no, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't remarry or redate or really? read anything. Why? See you later. Well, what's, no, I'm not it's interested. easy to say now. No, but I'm not interested. You might not be interested, but you know, it's like people like you, I think, like you just can't help yourself. And I think like if you, He'd have to be all really this rich. would happen. No, he would have to be really rich. I have a feeling with you, I you're know, full Carrie. of shit and you just meet a guy and you would end up just, it would just all happen this uh, way. Here's the thing, Carrie like might this. bang them, but for her to actually tie the knot. No, I wouldn't bang them. No, I'm not saying she'd she get married, but I think she not would date seriously again. Like I think she would absolutely, it, it would just happen. She meets guys, she, she, guys she has like this her. power. Yeah. Yes, guys like, like her. It just happens. Guys. I don't like older guys. It, I like guys like Adam's age. Well, who doesn't? Look how attractive he is. Why? Adam, and he pulls off the T-shirt got, in any weather. I'd right? have a shot. Are no, you saying I would have a shot? You if I, have everybody a shot, has a but, shot with Carrie. That's not the point. Here, the oh. point is, you see. wouldn't have a shot. He can pull off a T-shirt right in now, any weather, and I love cute. that. Uh, Carrie has a Greek so ass, of that. and I think he does like I an can, ass. Yeah, he has perfect to... hair. Perfect Look, hair. Adam, That's the first thing I noticed. You're in your thirties, right? Yeah. Well, I just turned thirty-seven. Yeah, put some pride. You look so much younger. He looks twenty. That's because he's skinny with a boy's body. That would be the cutoff. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. I think he's got a man's body. It, well, it's kind he's of boy. Thank you, thank you, Dave. Yeah, he looks like he works out. He looks well, like he does. he's in a boy band. But he, yeah, you could be in a boy band because he's got the greased, flipped-up hair. It's so cool. <laughs> well, you you'll have, have it no now idea. too in a, ten days. I don't know what's gonna. No, not it. No, it take in ten days is when I looks like nothing happened. It takes a year, like a, a chia year pair, for oh, it wow. to grow in. Yeah. 
Because Tom Cotter, I think, did it too. Because one day he was wearing hats all the time. I think when you I wore a hat for ten days. Yeah, if you wear a a hat for some reason, you've never seen anyone in a hat. I think that means they had right. It's plugs, right? No, no, it's not. That's the thing. It's not plugs anymore. It used to be put. Now it is transplant. They take it from. Yeah, it's not like the old days when it was bad, really bad. When it was noticeably horribly bad. You know who you used to be able to see him? Who's that guy? Schneider, Scheidner. Who's Rich Scheidner? Who was married to? Whatever the fuck her name. Oh, the girl who was Elaine on, not her, anyway, it's a long story. What? Not he on had the bad is having a wrong conversation. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Got every you name know, wrong. The guy that was with the her from Rich, the show. Rich Scheidner oh, was, okay. was married to the girl who's a lesbian now who used to write on Seinfeld, who was. Oh, Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn. Carol 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 okay. So she was married to him, but anyway, and he was like this cute, hot, blonde guy, and then all of a sudden he's like 40 and his hair all. So he did the whole thing, but he they did were the, the dog plugs. plugs. The dog yeah, plugs. and you could he did it see twenty the years ago, fifteen terrible. years ago, it was bad. Okay. They changed. Well, yeah. Right the, uh... now, he's still bald. Yeah. But Brian Plato and, and it says be happier to Brian be bald. Play Dale. I was so I angry cute. that I was wearing a hat. Like I was so happy to take it off and, and just be bald because look... now I know it's it's coming. Okay, so but you like look it, good. I feel better. Yeah, I look know, fine. Can I just tell you something? Is the way I feel about a man. I like um, my I fiance like bald. Is bald. I love bald men. I I don't know why you need hair. Andre Agassi. Listen, it it it, it is like what any, what you tell any girl that has blessed her. I mean, the rock. It is a personal, the way you feel about yourself. There's yeah. nothing you can do. Do you about think it. that girls will like you more? It with has hair? nothing to do with it's girls. For you. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Really? I, no, it's just, it's the way I look in photos. You know, there's so many photos now with Instagram and everything, and I, I don't like the way I look, and that's all it comes down to. All right, that's fine. And I figure I, I got another it. 30 years of photos. <laughs> so here's I... what Brian Plato writes. What about a guy with a good personality, Carrie? Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm telling She'd fall for it. She would Listen, fall for it. Listen, I don't give a shit about the personality. you gotta have, you got to be able to get, live my lifestyle. <laughs> that, that means you have to be able to support me. There's Marla. You have to be able to support me. You have to be able to put up with my shit. My compulsiveness. And what I'm saying is I think there's guys totally out there comic. that would. I make no money. And I no think money. you would fall for it if you got divorced and, and said you didn't want to date anybody. I really believe You'd that be you with just somebody. have this magnetism that brings these guys that get you and it would you just work out me. again. And I'm not saying marriage again, but you would... You'd be living with somebody. Carrie, you'd have to open another restaurant. You don't want to do I'm that. I'm not doing you'd, that. You'd no. find a guy. I mean, you're you're gorgeous. A guy that your I hair looks perfect. Suck your skin is perfect. Suck off. I mean, you know, you have she's perfect hot. skin. And yeah. she's hot. She's got the body, yeah, like, the attitude, like, it's just that you fucking voice. want me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love her voice. I do, too. <laughs> All right. It, Brian Polito says he just came in time to hear cis chat. See, this girl says <laughs> she, her vagina. husband's Clip bald chat. and would look ridiculous with hair. I like bald guys. This is my godchild, Agatha. She's Agatha? absolutely right. How her old is husband, she? she's adorable. <laughs> Actually, Agatha's adorable. Greeks but she's their right. kids' names like if that. If her husband had hair, he would look weird. Yeah, I, I I'm got, used to my, him. My bald. nieces and they've been saying that it's going to be weird seeing you with hair. And I'm like, shut up, kids. What do you know about anything? Are you going to let it all grow like a rock star? Well, I told they asked me when at first I had gone to that Bosley place just because oh, they had Bosley. a free concert. Oh, those they play Play it on the Ridiculous. sports station. So I went there. There's a girl in my office. She's an Orthodox Jew, so she wears a wig. And she works oh, in the accounting man. department. She knows what I make. And she's like, I'm going to go in there with you. I'm going to ask a bunch of questions. And like, she's going <laughs> to give it to them good. And, we, and when she we came out of there, she make. goes, you got to find a way to get that money. you got to get that money. <laughs> they that convinced money. us. It was good. And they're like, what do you want your hair to look like? I'm like, Jesus. And they're like, well, I don't think we can do it. I'm like, well, you asked. So I'm just, so I want you're flowing. you going to grow it long. I, I'm not, but I'm saying I, <laughs> in the perfect world, I want I want good, long, flowing what Jesus like What about bangs? <laughs> so you want just like bangs? Just get the type of no, guy. No, I, I think the, the, what this guy takes into consideration is your age right. and stuff like that. So it's it's going to look normal, I think, but I, I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be flowing. It's, it's look, not going to be long. Let's be honest. You're the type of guy that you hang out with because you're adorable and you're funny and you're, you know what I mean? You're a delight sure to be sometimes. around. You're a delight People to be are, around. It's 50-50 sometimes. Oh, it depends right. on my mood. It's completely based on my mood. My mother and sister will tell you a hundred times, I am a delight to be around if I'm in a good mood. But if I'm not in a good mood, I'm horrible. Okay. I'm like the worst person, and I bring everyone down with me. <laughs> right now, I'm in a great mood. Yeah. How are you? Brian Plato <laughs> wrote... do not bring Marla Schultz in this room. No, Brian Plato said, <laughs> Carrie wants a gold-plated vibrator with a platinum card. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah, I, I want the platinum card, and uh, you know it doesn't have to be gold plated. It could be Where does that come silver. from? It's because know. you're from Long Island. That's the only. She's, no, because I don't want to work anymore. Off. 
You should see what she was like when she had her restaurant. She wanted to kill herself. It was I horrible. Was, oh, the restaurant in Long Island. Yes. yes. Constant. She couldn't but take it's, it. But, but then when you had the restaurant when we first met, whose restaurant was that? Your oh, brother's that, only? Yeah, or, those are my brothers. Well, that was your family, though. Well, that was my... Look, here's what she happened. She didn't own it. I, uh, my I thought brother, you were part owner. Uh, no. My brother, that... My father had his first one on Sixth, Seventh uh, and Christopher Street. Right, right there was Caravas. Right, and it, I, it was every, right, everybody. Famous. Right. It's like a staple. That was yes. right in it's the like, village. It's like in movies. It's like an Annie. It's like an Annie Hall and shit. Right we or something. Or, or, with, or, no, you know what it's in? It's in author, author. <laughs> yeah, but it's also in Legal Eagles with the <laughs> yeah. Rever- oh, Reverend Rever- Rever- oh, and uh, really? Deborah Winger. They yeah. came in. They did a scene there. It's a staple. It's a staple. So then they bought Caravas on Sixth and West Fourth. Right. That's the one we. That's where we met. That's where we hung out. Yeah. And I bought it, and then we just used to hang out there all the Rachel time. Rachel tells that story all the time. Rachel Feinstein. What, what is, story? That's story? how we met. She yes. was bartending there. We talk about it all the time. Wait, Rachel bartended at your restaurant? <laughs> yes. yes. And the, I gave and the Rachel best, very sh- a lot of shots best, at work. Right. work and it. the best story is that remember that girl that used to work there? I guess her name was Teresa. Or something. I don't remember. Well, this is the story Rachel says. Sometimes she goes like, "Yeah, just that girl Teresa, who she was a mess." And she's like, "I'm dating the greatest guy. He's so cool." You know what I mean? And then I walked in, and Rachel never remembered. How are you? You know, she's like, this is the guy you've been talking about and crying. <laughs> oh over the my god! Uh, yeah, it's the best story of how to, <laughs> how to meet somebody for the first. <laughs> hey, and then it was like eating like the wings, and the place was disgusting. <laughs> I went, oh. I take her home after we're gonna, uh, we're gonna work out. You know, <laughs> she's like, "This is the guy." Do you remember the night we were there bartending and you, you we would do the light up the shots? They would be on fire. Yeah, and we spilled it on David Tell and went on. He, <laughs> what do you mean you light up the shots? You light the shots. Yeah, they know, call like the flaming fire. whatever. And uh, like God, your husband, the things yeah. vodka you can do it on. What I was it? seeing. I was waiting <laughs> to see if anybody. Just like your husband. No, and it would it, it f- slip, uh, fell on David. David Tell. Right, and the whole thing lit his whole arm on fire. <laughs> had to put and him he out. never drank again. So <laughs> that, that is not that true. Really. No, just kidding, no. uh, they yeah. do that at this one bar. At my, I think they had to stop doing and put this bar on 8th Avenue. They do all these different kinds of shots, and it's called the Harry Potter shot. And they light the bar on fire with the Yeah, it's uh, ridiculous. You're kidding me. Stuff. No, it's awesome. Then they also have the full metal jacket shot where you have to do, like, like push-ups and do shots, <laughs> and the bartender just calls you a pussy while you're doing them and stuff. It's, they have all these different and kinds of shots. And then they shoot really you fun. in the head. No. <laughs> That'd be um, ridiculous. So let me tell you what happened to me the other day. Go ahead. Actually, this morning. Actually, it was yesterday morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> I If I don't have my glasses on, I really can't see. I mean, those are reading glasses. These are my reading glasses, oh, right? Okay. So I don't know who was upstairs, whatever they were doing in the bathroom, and I wanted to brush my teeth. So I get up, I go downstairs, and I have a, a little thing of toothpaste. And my toothbrush in the ba- in the ba- in the ba- regular floor ba- uh, bathroom. <laughs> bathroom. I open it up and I start brushing my teeth and I immediately realize this is not the taste of fucking toothpaste. Oh god! And I brushed oh. my teeth with Benadryl. Ew! Ew! Did you get high? Benadryl is the the. You get a buzz off of Benadryl. I my heart races like minty, having a heart though, attack. Isn't it? Benadryl. No, my mouth went on fire. Benadryl oh. for your for like a bite, oh, like an a, insect, my, insect. My bite. kids were given Benadryls when they were sick, like if they had, and that you would take it yeah, through the mouth. But that's a pill. Yeah, this that's is a for an insect bite. What made you think oh, it was toothpaste? Because it's the same exact little tube. It was this big. It was white. It was right next to my you know what I think the problem toothpaste, is, Carrie, little this, fucking this, kids and of mine. The story's amazing, but I think the problem is you have two. <laughs> Too many bathrooms and rooms in your house, and it's a pickle. I know. <laughs> in the Look, mansion you live in, so I think Sarah, that's the Carrie line wants of the story. to move <laughs> so she can upsize. Oh, that's right. See, I told my husband we were. <laughs> my my husband thinks we're downgrading, downsizing. Right? Downsizing. How are you going to fool him? Like, what's the plan? Well, here's you the lie. Plan. You lie. Well, I'm putting my house on the market this week. Okay, I have a gigantic <laughs> pool. There's no fucking reason for it. I'm the only one that swims in it once, you know, in the summer. So then we don't need the fucking pool. I want my own bathroom and my own master oh, bedroom. You understand. share Wait, your bathroom you with your kids? You, what do you mean your own master bedroom? I want my own room and let my husband have his own room. But oh, no, no, I'm my. just kidding. I'm oh. kidding. Carrie! I'm kidding. But it would be nice to say to him, why don't you sleep in the guest room? No. I so, <laughs> once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah. 
I can understand. So that. you know, does he, he snore? Come, he could come. Yes. Oh, he could come does visit. Does he have sleep apnea? Yeah. So he is he going to get that mask? I doubt it. Mine had the surgery. He did oh, try the mask, couldn't do it. He had his uvula ectomy. Oh, they take. Why the do you always sound disgusting? Yeah, Back every he... story you have is gross. Whether <laughs> it's a man or a woman, it's unbelievable. Did you had his uvula ectomy. I what uvula? It's, it's not thing. even a thing. <laughs> I looked at him and he's laying on the thing with no shirt. And he's just laying there. He was fucking blue. I go, oh my god, I've killed him. Like, I you're, thought you're it's because so it's my fault. He had the uvula ectomy. Of you, you licked me. Licked me. Licked me. What's happening? I, uvula. They take the whole bag of your throat. All right, out. I believe you. So you have room. <laughs> so that then instead of when you lay it in bed He's at night, lying instead there of a going, <laughs> you have an open. To blow him right then and there. Look, I'm going to yes. tell you what sleep apnea is. That's when you're so fat, your own body is turned against you and is trying to suffocate <laughs> and kill you in your sleep. That's that. exactly what it is. It's not always from fat, though. Okay. I think it is. So, Lack of exercise and fat. I think she's right. Well, here's what it is <laughs> I want to now. Get a bigger house. Sell my house because I minted it out. So the house is going to sell. No sweat. He thinks we're going to go into a smaller house <laughs> and a m- lower mortgage. We're not. We're not. I like that plan. Why shouldn't you go bigger? We're go- oh, we're who do- bigger. Again, who bigger, doesn't marry better. Carrie Caravas and know that's going to happen? <laughs> You think I mean, I don't small. even think you have to lie. Exactly. But why do you think small? Let's think big. Well, Let's who's thinking be big. small? He said we He's trying to save money. Well, he wants to, like, you know, he wants to eventually move down south, which I get it, and I, I'll, I'll do it in about five years. Five years? Why down south, well, maybe though? 15 or 10. You're going to have hur- you fucking know. hurricanes down no, there. No, no, North Carolina. I want to oh, open North up Carolina? a giant comedy club. I'm going to buy a warehouse. I'm going to own it. Oh, oh my God. Fun. That's a good idea. I'm going to blow it out. That's going to be the okay, greatest like that idea. club ever. Okay. All right, then do it in five years. That's a good idea. So maybe next year would be best. <laughs> I need a place to work out some new stuff. When I say new stuff, I don't have any new stuff. You come I every had new stuff since time you want to work there. You are carte blanche. That's very kind. So so listen. It's not patty though, right? So I want to buy a bigger <laughs> house. I don't care if it's a shithole inside. I'll get in and I'll fix it. Now I found this house. Oh, you, that's oh, what you you're selling. Already. You already found a house. No, I found a house. It's a that's dump. It. I guess it's a foreclosure, right? And yeah. they, they fucked up the kitchen, but it's a giant kitchen. It's got six bedrooms. Wow. I want this house because I know I'll get in. I'll, I'll do all the bedrooms first and the one bathroom. And then I'll slowly do the kitchen. You know. I, so you want to fix her a project. The thing right. is, you're bored. I am Carrie, bored, yeah. you're going to live in that house while they're fixing yes, it up? That's the Patty. thing. No, no you, you can't, can't do no, it. I did it. It's, it. You breathe in be shit horrible. all day. I thought you were going to stay in this house until they fix it up. Is it close she by? She can't afford both. I'm just saying. All right. Patty. <laughs> I disagree. I I'm think you, I, I don't, you can't live there. You can't. She can't afford. But, all right, you're, you're right. You're not so going to be able to handle it. Maybe that. I'll move out and live with my sister for a, a no, couple of months. you this can't is, do that. This isn't being real. I mean, you're not. Are you secretly divorcing your husband yeah, and you're not telling us? Is that the story? No. Everything you've said kind of. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. And you good. know, when we saw each other at Rachel's wedding, it didn't seem like you were that happy either. <laughs> 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 that was a fun wedding, wasn't it? Oh my god, I think that might have been the funnest wedding I've ever been to. It's, it was, it was definitely a comedy the, show. It was the best wedding ceremony I've ever, ever seen in my Why? life. Why? What was so great because about it? Because it wasn't serious. Yeah, exactly. No mask was taken or anything. Did she you know, walk down an aisle? Did yeah. she wear a yeah, white yeah, dress? No, 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 it was she all did traditional. Everything. Tom Papa was the one presiding over the wedding. What did so he? So already, he, so he's doing jokes. At he the also thing? married yes. Lenny as well. So is um, he a universal yeah. uh, minister of whatever? Yeah, he's whatever it is. He's my my yeah. fiance is that too. Oh boy. The okay. universal minister. Well, maybe then he could at some point marry the two of yeah, you. Yeah, she he could marry ourselves. <laughs> my fiance is also a minister. No matter what we say, the my fiance is also good. building a house with six rooms. <laughs> <laughs> what is uvula? But that, but that, um, <laughs> that wedding, that the ceremony was fantastic. Colin Quinn got up and just spoke and he stuff, was and funny. it was the, that was the best ceremony. And remember how good it was? It was so light, like you're saying, like um, when Tom was making fun, he goes, "And little did you know, Rachel's mom know she would be gathering material for years and doing a voice of hers or something." And then remember, Rachel just turns to the crowd and just goes no see it's not like that what it is and she's just like talking like in a regular voice and she's not even making a joke it was fun and that's what made it so fun it was just really just but you I might as well have fun because it might not last that's true I, especially with comics <laughs> no i'm just kidding colin that quinn. will last I'll colin tell you quinn that. okay how old is colin quinn he's older than you 58, right 58 okay 60? I don't so know. see colin quinn is getting married he is so, you didn't know this no yes oh yes he he's is. engaged 
Oh, so you, there's hope for you. But you know what? Because he's engaged. Think... He might be engaged like Patty for the next 15 years. We don't <laughs> exactly. actually That's know if he's set a date. All I'm saying is he's actually locked into a girl. Because Colin Quinn, I've, no, I've known him well, but I've known him for 30 years. Never seen him with a woman. Yeah, me, I only know me one neither. girl that, well. And young. this girl isn't that young, right? She's. She, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever met her. She was at the wedding. She was? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe oh my I God. didn't realize. Okay. Oh. The blonde. Oh, she's so pretty. The blonde. Oh, yes. Well, would you think he'd be with a dog? Let's be that's honest. That's so funny. I think I said the exact same thing because it's from the movie Arthur. And they're like, that's Colin's wife. And he's like, yes, why would Colin marry a dog? Right, right. I, think I said I, the exact same my thing. Favorite, <laughs> my favorite. From Arthur? I love that movie. Isn't Arthur's wife gorgeous? Yeah, Liza Minnelli says it. Why would Arthur marry a dog? Right, right. Yeah. That oh, that's so funny. I remember that movie. Well, anyway, so the wedding was great. And then yeah. Amy Schumer, right? Yeah. Yes. She now, first Are you all, friends with Amy Schumer, by the way? I'm friendly with her, oh, you know, okay. but uh, I, I... I never met her. I wanted I, to I meet her. I was upset a... because I, I really felt I should have been the maid of honor. I And, and Rachel <laughs> agrees that that should have been the case. Are you Rachel's she best do? friend? Yes. Yeah, I think I am. You are? Well, I was her best friend for many, she was many years. You moved to Long Island. It was over for you. You were her best friend, and it's over. I oh, did my it. God. I did. She moved away. She, she was so like my little girl. I took her under my wing. You did. I took you her everywhere. You absolutely did. That is a fact. I gave her fact. clothes. I gave her pocketbooks. And now took, she is. I gave her on. bartending, to, and she moved Yeah, on. no, you absolutely. You were like the first <laughs> person that showed her kindness. Why can't she still be your friend? <laughs> because it's she over. Is. It's, it's over. 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 <laughs> you know, it's not. That's so terrible. Hold on. like your husband. I cannot compete with Amy Schumer. I can't give her what Amy can give her. No, I know. And and that's the thing. I think What about love? You can give her more love than Amy can give her, don't you think? I don't know. Amy's been good to her. I very think. good to her. Very, okay, very good. She's, I think Amy's a... She's helping a lot of comedians. That's I'm one noticing. of the reasons I think she was made of honor. You know I mean? It's just like, I mean, she, you know, she, she's very helpful. Out of respect. Helpful. Oh, yeah, Amy was respect. made of honor? You have to add a respect. Oh, or for another part. Let, let, yeah. let me ask you a question. Go ahead. If I gave you... Yes. If I produced your one-hour Comedy Central... Yes. And I put you in movies, and I did yes. so many things for you. Yes. And you're getting married. Yes. You're not. Go and you're not going to. That's right. My sisters would be sitting in the back, <laughs> and you would be at the dais, <laughs> and you would be my but maid Amy's of honor. But Amy's good to I her. Mean, are they good for, and they and they are like really they really are good close. Friends. So it's it's okay. But yeah, you, know, you got it. Would be like me inviting the managing partner of my firm. I have to invite him. You know, like it's like yeah. it's the same well, thing. Well, I noticed that with like Lenny's wedding. If, uh, you know, I I'm like have a, a thorn in my ass that he didn't invite me. But anyway, all the people amazing. he invited Everybody was were there. people who so are from the fun, cellar or no. who can <laughs> help him or career-wise, don't you think? No. I, or Jewish. Uh, or yeah, Jewish. I don't know, but that's where I got the idea for Rachel to use Tom Papa because I saw it at his wedding. Yeah. he's And his wedding was terrific, too. If I renew my vows. You're invited to everyone's wedding. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to get married. It that way. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to renew my vows. In twenty in at the twenty five year mark, so I'm t now with I'm, your husband. Yeah, I'm thirteen years married. In another She's whatever 12, 12. twelve years, I'm gonna renew my vows. I'm gonna have Tom Papa do it. I'm gonna invite all my comic friends. Aww. no fucking family. Um, just a few of my cousins <laughs> no that I like. That but I you can't. See, but now she's already backtracking. She's like, but maybe a few of my oh, cousins. A few of and my by cousins. the time, and I was like, and you know, maybe a couple of nephews. And but but no family <laughs> no, though. But, but and you know what? Why not? I'll just invite. It's just gonna keep steamrolling, and you're gonna have Carrie like a whole knows other eight million. I went to a party yeah. of hers. Was you that know a Christmas too many people. party? It's like packed. She takes out a whole like restaurant bar. I don't know what the hell it was. There's a million people. I don't know who any of them are. There's Greeks. I cooked there's all the food. Talking really? Greek. Wow. Then there's oh, I cook all the food. Comics. Oh. There's. She just knows eight million turns, people. Here's the thing. On. I want to walk down the <laughs> aisle delicious. again with the dress I freaking bought. Not pregnant. Eight months. You were pregnant when you got married. Eight months. I was seven months pregnant. Mm. I was gigantic. Why? So I want to put on a dress and and look amazing in the dress. I'm understand. still a little fat now, but no, you're very no, hot. No, you're good. When I'm 25 years married, I will be you guys thin. You both look good like that. You know, you're both thin. Okay, I'm not thin. Okay? Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You okay, are. stop it. You know what? You so, have boobs and an ass. That's how you're supposed wait, to. Wait, who are you look? talking to? You, her, or me? Her. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you don't have boobs. <laughs> How dare well, you, you kind of. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> no, I think you look good. As a matter of fact, well, now I have no, to you lose do. weight. Once I get the hair, I'm gonna have to lose. You gotta go. You you gotta gotta go. And then the eyes. And the eyes in it. You, if you, you can be don't fat the eyes, and please. bald, but you can't be. But to be, if you get hair, you gotta be thin. That's you true. know what else is good? You can only be fat and bald. <laughs> you know what else is good too? When they take it from the back, what? it's black. It's not gray. 
great. You when you go gray, you go gray. Oh, is that right? Around the I didn't know oh, that. Is that right. true? Yeah, you go gray around. Because the crown. I color my hair too. I've been coloring it for years. You know, but only the front. You're right. Well, no, I color the whole thing. But you're so I can't tell whether the black back would go gray or not. I don't not. think boys That's need to color their hair either. I, really I think don't. boys hands Look off. Look at Richard Gere. How hands hot. off. Gray hair. Richard Gere's hot anyway. Bald. This That's is a whole is different thing. He is hot. I have to keep trying. But wait a minute. You were, okay, Meanwhile, you were on Meanwhile, my crashing. hair color is so bad that it falls off on people's pillows. When I'm over the house, it's embarrassing. It soaks through the pillow because I use very uh, cheap hair color. Are these women you're talking about? Yeah. Yes. That is kind of bad if it's, you just bang so somebody. It's embarrassing. And there's shit on God. the pillow. It's and there's so your hard. fucking it's, hair color. Yeah, I didn't. What do they say? What do you if, think? If, if you shit your pillow, I, I would say. What, is your ass leaking? No, it's just the well, hair color I would color say is bad. that if I oh, thought. <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> fucking and it soaks through. It's like really. Oh, that's horrible. It, I know. They're like, uh, yeah, you, your hair color. I'm like, oh, that's so embarrassing. Yeah, and it soaked through the pillow. Oh, God. I could never have. Like your period. Having sex at this age would be very hard. Like, I think it's easy to have sex when you're young. Like, you know, you're 50, what are you, 54, you said. It would be easy in your 20s to go bang, bang, and you like what Adam does. He finds him, <laughs> find him, feel him, <laughs> fuck him, and forget him, right? Good the for four you, acts, right? Good Adam? for you. But I mean, he's in, he's cute. He's a, but you know, after 50, I always felt like I had to apologize. Like, after you're four, <laughs> like, you're like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I remember when I was in my four, I have really small boots. I'm sorry. I, I just feel like I'm apologizing, and I can't just enjoy myself. I've been Apologizing since I was 22. Seriously. Oh, you, are you really? Yes, it's I have, always an I apology. I have been very uptight about sex since day one. I've never one. apologized once. Yeah, why would I know. You? That's the that's thing. No, I so know. Even still, now I'm fat. I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> Fuck you. You should we be apologizing because your that's dick what is makes too you small. So sexy. It's not but, that I have a big vagina. It's that you have a dick, a small dick. All right, that's how I look at it. But I wish I had the Carrie Caravas attitude in life, which Me too. is. Fuck you, I'm great. Yeah. I want that attitude. No, it's an amazing... That's why she that's was why successful she, and... And that's why she's hot. Well, guys well, see that, that. Yeah, but not in comedy. Why not? That's what pisses me off because I'm very funny. I don't know. It's true because their confidence is sometimes <laughs> all it takes and you... But you were successful. You kind of... I left. She up. had kids. Left. So I left. Once you have kids, I was so close. Like yeah, I felt you were like close. I I had this deal with, with the fox, and right. we shot the pilot. It didn't happen. Then I yeah, you had an attitude and everything. But it's no, all but then I left. Out. I left, and I went. Yeah, and you had chose a kid. to. I was yeah. thirty five. Thirty six. I was thirty six. But you look at women who didn't have kids, and they're in the same boat you're in. Yeah. I mean, honestly, and women who no, had a lot of my sort female... of careers, and then look at them now. They're look, they're, they're in the the a lot of my periphery. A lot of my friends went on to success, you know, like good careers. Like who? Yeah, like Okay, who? Lynn Coppolis had a really oh, nice Oh, we're okay, talking about Lynn. comedians. But yeah. what now? She, what does she do now? She just got a new dog. I just saw her walking out <laughs> on the street. <laughs> <laughs> but she does she have a TV gorgeous. show? Does she have a movie? I don't know what's brewing. For, I've seen her on Crashing. Or Yeah, I think. She's well, they been, use a lot of the comic, the seller You comics. were on Crashing, right? Yeah. He was on it with no shirt on it. Uh, and may I just uh, say, you saying he has tits, his body looked good. No, it didn't. Oh, I swear it did. I think that's what prompted all this that was the worst day of my life no and you know what's so funny i was either going to put up the picture oh uh, i don't have it the picture the towel, from Cran with the towel or yeah. i was going to put up the other picture and kevin goes well is that picture from his facebook page i go no it's from somebody else i don't know it was from like he goes well he may not want you putting up half naked pictures of him i don't care and it's then i was like, like yeah maybe do i don't want him to piss him off before he even gets here you know it wouldn't bother me. dave okay. and i played husband and wife just our voices all oh, right i forgot when? about that david tell forget you remind me i forget david tell was had so much fun. it really was yeah, we were good what did together. you do david tell got a show with comedy central david tell did yeah, yeah. And it was cool. It was such a good show too. Yeah, yeah. What, what was it, it called? Was, it was like, like a, was that the one that was like Pee Wee's Playhouse, where it was, it was like a bottle Pee of Jack talk, and, and it was Vic Henley was the Vic bottle Henley was the of, bottle right, of Jack, right. and Buzzkill was um, <laughs> Buzzkill was uh, Jim Gaffigan. His oh, voice. Really? Right, right. Yeah. So you had the Buzzkill. So Dave is this yeah, guy. Yeah, that was great. Was it in House Arrest? I can't remember. He just sat on his sister's and brother-in-law's couch. Yeah. And he would get wasted. And the and bottle then, of Jack would talk to him. Oh, and that's it was, so yeah, funny. and we were his in-laws, right? We I guess were, I no, was, you no? were. I was his brother. No, I was the, the sister. And oh, and you I was were, the brother-in-law. Right, and I'd be right. like, Dave, or whatever, and we were fighting with him, and you never saw us, but you just heard a voice. Yeah. Our oh, voices. it was just voices. Yeah. So then you, the director comes up to me and he goes, "I just want to say your voice is so annoying <laughs> <laughs> that You're perfect. it's perfect." Yeah. <laughs> 
I totally understand. And it never happened. That would no, have been such a, a cash for Let us. Tell you why what do you mean it never went on the air? Nothing happened. David Tell is problematic in the sense that. In what uh, way? He's, the, he's so funny. He's brilliant. Not only he's is he. Beyond funny. He's brilliant. Funny. He, when all is said and done, he could be considered the greatest comic of all time. Of all but time. But when it comes to TV or doing something, he gets too involved and he is a mess. And unless he, he trusts one person in some form and some day. He's never going to have a TV show. What do you mean? I don't understand that. Because he's a ex- perfectionist. Yeah. He's he's like he knows what's funny. You can't tell a a, a genius. But he's had a right of comedy line. He it's weird. He he feels he knows television so well that he he has these old eighties views. He goes, "What we need to do is wipes, and that'll what save everything." Wipes? Like remember in Home Improvement where they'd have like the they'd oh go yeah to the, the, next w- scene the wipe goes. Like, I don't like that. Well, nobody likes that. That's why he doesn't have a TV show. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. But, but like, when he did the porn show, yeah. which I thought was the funniest thing he did. Yeah, but, oh, sorry. Uh, but, he, you know, it was just him. So he's not really writing anything, yes, but, right? Um, but if, if you were in the editing room when he was were doing you? this. Yes, were you? Were you? Oh. It's the Torture. poor kid. I mean, at least what he was mean? paying this kid who was editing. They must have edited that. If he didn't have a deadline, I mean, he, oh, he would have edited that thing for end. two years. Because here's the problem. Because we also did the gong show together, too. And here's the problem in a the nutshell. The gong show? Which yeah, gong show? The with new David Tell, it was called. Oh, Did eight episodes on that Comedy one, Central. I forgot about that. So here's the problem with David Tell when it comes to television. And it's, and it's the most logical problem because this is what makes him so kind funny. of a genius. Right. Once he, the joke is done, it's done, it's out there. Right. When he hears it again in the editing room, he's like, you know what? People have already heard that before. And somebody has told him, Dave... This is the way it works. You know, it's like you're going to take out the joke just because you heard it. Be- no one else right. has heard it before. And right, he's like, right. no, we got to take it out because it's. I already heard it. He's so afraid that people are going to oh. consider him a hack oh my that God. he takes he's out so the best funny. parts that he's already done that nobody's heard. You know and what? then Greg Fitzsimmons was the producer on that show. And he's like, Dave, you, you, you cannot keep taking out the best stuff because... You've heard it, and we've yes, we've heard it, but no one else. It's not on TV yet. You know what it is? It's like he, because he's like considered a genius. Everyone looks up to. It's like the girl who's really, really hot, and everyone expects her to show up at the party, really hot, with her tits looking good and her hair, whatever. And then all of a sudden, you know, she feels all this pressure to look good every single time she goes out. But that's like him. It's almost like too much pressure Wait, you, you to be the genius. Carrie. You know what I'm? Oh. T- <laughs> I'm Sorry. Not t- no, but it's like I too much pressure to be you, a genius. The next thing you need to get. Fixed is your eyes. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Uh, so wait, so, where you, but the no, last but part do you, was... Do you see what I'm saying? Like, in the, It's too much yes, pressure. Yes, it's pressure that he's oh, a genius. Um, that genius. Because then he feels like he always has to be a genius. He can't do anything. Yeah. It's even maybe a little... Maybe. I mean, you're, I mean you know what? You're, you're absolutely right. There is a lot of pressure on him, and yet it's all self and. Yes, Deuce pressure, se- which yeah. again makes him so goddamn funny. I've watched but him I mean, at the cellar. For Christ, right, we know. We've seen him at the cellar. He's got 20 minutes of new material after seeing him the night before with 20 minutes of new right. material. It's or, unbelievable. Or I used to open for him all the time. And yeah. he three he used different to love pun- having you open three for him. Three different punchlines. For the same for joke. For the same joke. I mean, the guy's yeah, it's, brilliant. It's, I mean, he's, he's yeah. He, he I said, sh- I wanted to marry him. Yes. You did? I, I think she did. But what, that, how would that have worked oh, out? Oh, it would have though, worked with... out horrible. It wouldn't have worked out because <laughs> Dave was always with uh, strippers and yes, and he ma- masturbates too but much. But maybe to have if I would have had a you. kid with him, he would have changed. <laughs> well, the two of us have been talking about having a kid together. Like we can't live together, but we Who, can you live and next, Dave. Yeah, we could live next door to each other because we both want kids. Yeah. So we were talking about doing it, and we could how? obviously make a reality show. My two Daves, and we just because <laughs> we well, we don't know. We don't know whether we. would Impregnate some. I would uh, love to carry woman, that baby, uh, or whether we would uh, <laughs> adopt something, or whether we'd uh, mix up the sperm a little bit. And no, no, we no, didn't no. Know. That's I don't not know. how it goes. You I don't take. Know. Here's what you do. Oh, you could mix the sperm. No, you get. You well, get it doesn't matter donor. because even if we didn't know who it was, the kid's gonna look. We look alike. Everybody used to think we were brothers, so nobody's yeah, going to no, know who's who. I don't see it. I don't see it. When we were bit. in the 80s, everybody thought we but were brothers. But he has the littler nose now. That's why. Brett Butler always used to think we were brothers all the time. In any who, <laughs> yes. Dave, I think if I would have had a kid with him, see, Walter kiboshed that whole thing because yes, I did. was single. Dave always hated him. <laughs> who? Who did he no, hate? I got to say, he loved Walter? your He always oh. thought your husband was excellent. Or, no, 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 you have your boy, boyfriend. Walter's right, right. not your husband. Everybody liked Walter. Yes, but I would have now. Nobody likes your Ms. husband. Miss David Tell <laughs> probably would have fought with him all a lot. 
but I would have had two kids, possibly three, with Dave, yeah. and he would have had to. Yeah, but uh, what's this? If it's, he the, wasn't the, ready. I mean, he would have had to become the I father. I think he's ready now, thing. but uh, he wasn't. He definitely wasn't. You'll ready You'll step before. up to the plate if you marry a girl. You're going to step up to the plate. Yeah. You really will, and then you'll be a father, and then you'll see. But he I also can't has just... trouble even being with another person in the room. You know, like I mean, he can't. I don't even know whether he could. Look. I mean, we both have to say at this point because we've been alone for so long. He, like he always yeah, says, he, yeah. we talk about this yeah, with, with, with Jeff Ross all the time, because Jeff Ross never wants to go home, and it's annoying sometimes when it's five in the morning. We're, like, oh, we're done. We're done. We're fifty. I can't, I can't be and, around people for that long. And he and he just doesn't want to go home. He doesn't want to be alone. And Dave and I always talk. We're like we're used to being alone, yeah. so we like we enjoy going well, does, home. Isn't doesn't he have a girl? Dave, Atel, Jeff? No, Jeff. Uh, Jeff always Ross. has some girl. girl. A hot he young girl. But he really lasts hot, like yeah. a month. But he doesn't want a real, like... I think he does. I think he absolutely does. I think what happens is you just so used... He was dating uh, this really girl, but she was very young, and then she um, kind of became a real asshole. Well, and yeah, because she's she, young. Um, yeah. That's and then how you she, act when you Well, 20. no, she was angry that he broke it off, and then she just pulled all this jealousy. So it was kind of fascinating. But then he was dating this the hottest girl I've ever seen, and I don't know why that ended, but um, I think he is looking for a relationship. But maybe she came but to maybe... her senses when you're really hot and you're with a guy who's Hold like a 60 and kind of fat and doesn't, he doesn't give a no, shit. I, yeah, well, that's the thing. I think they appreciate, unlike me, I think they appreciate that he doesn't care and that he owns it. They move and, you on. Know, I don't know. I think a young girl, I think a young girl looks at him and then goes, you know what? I could fuck a hot guy Here's right what now. I think. 35... You know, that comedy really is a powerful no, it thing. Does you know add, that. I, I agree. But thirty-five but... to forty is the perfect age. Okay. Who's Ellen Ross? Is that your sister? Ellen, my sister. Hello, Ellen. <laughs> She's but, a Ford. Okay. But um, the, the, also the Ellen thing Ross is. Ellen Ross for a Ford. Hello, darling. Don't you think that if you go into a, a different age bracket, like a thirty-five You're talking to about 40, with girls. Yeah, yeah, it's a little more. Oh, your I speed. agree. Yes, I'm surprised he and always she's means. And ready but, to settle But what down. I'm saying is you that's can still find a hot thirty-five. It's not like we're not trying to find girls like that. But we just. Um, but do you go? Uh, do you find? Here's what my friend said to me when I said I want to get married. I got. I'm a single mother. I got two kids. She goes, "You gotta look for a guy the way you look for an apartment." She goes, "You gotta do it like." She goes, "You ask everybody you know who can you set me." up with like i used to literally ask every you should be no 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 i got of, set up i got set up by my sister with this guy who jerked <laughs> off in the car while we ew. while he was dr- yes ew and i was Why like before you got that? home yeah all of a sudden i go to my that's sister that's how hot you were i go at. like this to my sister <laughs> no, i go that is something do right? not leave me after the restaurant i go because i don't like him i he was a big bouncer type gross I mean, like, what made him pull his thing out? Wait, so listen. So I go to my sister, (laughs) please do not leave me. I'm driving with you guys. I go to the bathroom. I come out. She's gone with her fucking boyfriend. And she leaves me with her boyfriend's friend. I get in the car. The boyfriend's car? I get in the car with the guy they set me up with, the blind date. Yes. So we're driving, and all of a sudden, I look over, and he's jerking While off. While he's driving? While he's driving? While he's driving. And now, Why would it's... people think that'd be okay? Well, I'm I don't know. I'm confused about this whole so world we I'm, live in now. I'm <laughs> completely Very weird. pissed off now. Yeah, get me out of the car, right? I can't get out of the car, because it's February, and it's fucking snowing, <laughs> and I want to ride fucking home. There was no Uber back then. There were no right. cell phones back right. then. Right, you yeah. were screwed. So now I'm getting raped. Thank you, my sister. <laughs> so now he's like, talk dirty to me. I'm like, no. Why, why, why did he need to be talked dirty to after he finished? I go to him, fuck <laughs> off. How I don't about think that? he finished yet. Fuck oh, finished? Oh, no, he was sense. jerking off. He wanted, oh, me, to, he was still, he wanted me to pee. He wanted he's a little gonna, help. He's did be, you, had you guys even kissed? No, I didn't That's even so like creepy. him. so <laughs> creepy. What balls. So I go, what? get the fuck. I go, listen, do me a favor. I go, I'm not fucking. He goes, just touch it. I'm like, fuck off. Oh, my God. Talk dirty. Fuck you. I go, yeah, in another gonna, second. That likes, he <laughs> likes it, likes the fight. So now he drops me off at my sister's apartment, and I bust in the house. And what I go, the? next time With you're jizz looking all again. Over your face. <laughs> That's so horrible. <laughs> Something about Mary. <laughs> I'm dripping, covered in <laughs> look sperm. Look what happened to me. Oh my God. <laughs> I go, next time you want to set me up, why don't you call, look up serial killers? I go, your fucking friend <laughs> just jerked off in the car oh, all, all over. I go, while well, he drove me here. Did she talk to him? Yeah, yeah, that's that my question, say, too. What is going on? Did, she, did, did anybody have a talk with him? Like the, the guy I don't know. You should have sent your brother after him. Have your brother be him? He up. was a bouncer at one of the clubs on Long Island, and one night I go there. Oh, right? No. This is after the jerking off. 
yeah, I go there, but I don't know he's the bouncer there. Right. And all of a sudden, I see him, and he said, I, I said, somebody, he said something like, <laughs> I just picture your mouth open, like, what? And then this jizz just comes right in, like, your, your mouth is wide open because you can't believe the guy's there. But just, <laughs> no, but he, so we're God. there, and all of a sudden, Sorry. he said something to me in front of all the guys, and I go, oh, yeah, I go, he, I go, don't drive, he tried to embarrass me. I go, yeah, don't drive with him. He jerks off in you the car. You said that? Yes. I yes. see her saying that. Yeah, go on. And then after like an hour, we were downstairs, and he grabbed me oh and choked God. me on the oh wall. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You ever fucking embarrass me like that again? Uh, I go, Who I'm the like, fuck is this guy? Say his name, and let's call the cops. Fuck is- <laughs> oh I don't God. remember his name. I got choked a lot when I was a kid. Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall choked me. What? A lot Why? of guys well, have choked her. You are annoying. I am annoying. <laughs> no, she's not annoying. You know what it is? Carrie just says, like, most guys, they think that they can say or do whatever they want to you because you they usually can because they're bigger and you're afraid to say anything back. Carrie doesn't get I got a great story. Carrie has no idea that she's littler than these guys. I'm dating this guy, David. David who? I don't remember his last name. I'm dating him for three months. The guy does not try anything on me. I'm like, I think What do you mean, sex? Yeah, nothing. No kissing? We kissed. Okay, no feelsies. Okay. Yeah, he f- felt me up, whatever. Oh, okay. But then I, he never went. <laughs> so it's not nothing. No anal. Yeah, but he never went. No anal. Definitely no anal. He never went to the next step. He never took it to the next Gay. step. So I, I kept saying to my friends, what's up with this guy? I mean, we're dating three months. I was totally in love with this guy. You were? I was so in love with him. Yeah, because he was holding back. So that it on stirs this, it unavailable. up. Unavailable. Yeah. On the fourth. No, but he had a great personality. He was so much fun. He was a writer. He wrote uh, songs. I mean, he was just, oh, no. I loved this guy. Okay. So on the fourth <laughs> month, fourth I month? go. No sex. No sex. Wow. Who are you, Rachel Feinstein? <laughs> Exactly. Oh. <laughs> and I, I just, I finally we go to a hotel. Go to a hotel? Yeah, back then you went to hotels. I don't remember. Back I did then. the back of the car. <laughs> no, I never did it in a car. Okay. So now we're in a hotel. She's too much of a lady. <laughs> I'm a lady. Wait, She's why? So we're in a hotel. Why can't you go to your house? Because she lives with her parents. Oh, you live, where does he live? Oh, he was, lives with his were parents. Like oh, oh, you were young. No, oh, okay. We were like, tw- I was like 20. Oh, oh, okay. well, you didn't All say right. that. You didn't say that. So, well, I was 12. <laughs> what are you, no, fucking retarded? I don't know. What no, are you yelling at him for? You said you said we went to a hotel like it was normal, like no. as a thing so, people do. But that's what we did when we okay, were kids. Okay, because you're 20. You I get it. I get, I get it. He's got such right. good hair. So, you can't talk to him yeah, like that. He's got dimples for God's sake. Yeah. And pecs. So we go to this hotel, and he's trying everything in his power to get it up. Oh no, I've had that. And he goes to me, my plumber. I'm sorry. He goes, I, just give me a minute, just give me a minute. And I think he was psyching himself up. Yeah. And I was oh, totally, I, to back then, I was totally hot. I was oh, a 20-year-old God. kid. Yeah. And I looked, I had like a hot. It's weird that that would happen at 20, though, yeah. Right. It's all in their head. Yeah, no, it's all in the head. Yeah, it's hard. Well, now, yeah. he had yeah. some so, something wrong with him. All of a sudden, he gets it up, and before he even goes near me, he, it goes down. he wow. blows a load. Wow. Blows Whoa. a load? That's crazy. Gone, done. And he's definitely not getting it up again. So I go, listen, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> and I was like, this is over. <laughs> the love went right out the window. So I felt bad for him. At the same time, I was like, I just felt bad for him, but I was like, you know, you kind of take it personal when you're a kid. You're like, I'm hot. What well, is yeah, it? no, that's yeah, yeah, it you don't for, understand. It's, for a woman, it's not you, really it's him. So that Saturday night, we're all meeting at the club, 231s, and he he's there with his friends, Phil, and blah, 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 all these Guido guys. They're all hanging out. We're all hanging out in the VIP section. So I come walking Phil up. was there? <laughs> <laughs> I remember Phil because Phil was the one that started it. Okay. Uh-oh. So all of a sudden... All the guys are there, all his buddies, and me and my three girlfriends come walking up because my one girlfriend was dating Phil. So all of a sudden we come up and Phil turns around and he goes, uh, hey, he goes, Carrie, he goes, I heard your head was hitting the, the, oh, you know, the bedboard or whatever. Yeah, the, the headboard. Back. Is this headboard. Like in Greece? Oh Is my God. Like- what did and you I say? I looked at him and I go, what? And he goes, I heard Dave gave it to you good. Oh You're hitting God. the head on the headboard. Oh, my God. So everybody starts laughing. And I go, I wish. This is like every I go, sitcom ever. Your friend <laughs> couldn't get his dick hard. Oh, my I God. I said, not only could he get it hard, <laughs> he came two steps next to me and he blew his fucking loud. You did not say that. 
Yes, I did. No, and my... You don't think she said that? I completely <laughs> believe that story 100%. But there's no way I wouldn't and believe that. And they all yeah. start laughing. I go, your friend's got no dick. And his face looked like he was going to start crying. Well, that's his problem, though. He was... The kid. Yeah. He shouldn't have yeah. But then, about... then Phil comes up to me like he's going to hit me. And he goes, that's fucked up. You know he's got a problem. I go, no, you're fucked up, bum motherfucker. Yeah, because he lied you're to You're fucking his trying yeah, to embarrass me. Yeah, exactly. Tell me you fu- my head got hit in the ha- headboard. I go, there's <laughs> plenty of other guys in here that could give me a fucking concussion, <laughs> but your friend ain't one of them. You know, I don't want to say anything, Carrie, but this was the 80s, and you should have been a little more polite. Um, guys are supposed to tell their friends that that's what they did. They're supposed to lie, and and you really should have just covered. I, it, it, it was way before the Me Too movement, and uh, play- really, it's kind of rude of you. <laughs> Brian Plato goes, Carrie, can you tell the story again slowly? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Or more quiet. I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here That's to really jerk really off. Funny. That's really I funny. think I just saw the, the Raven Simone show had on um, Disney Channel had that exact same premise <laughs> last week. I, uh, Raven Simone. That's, that's, I, did, that's like... I dated my plumber and my plumber could <laughs> never be, he was never ever hard. That's from my joke. I, you never get hard and I pretend it doesn't bother me. For The whole time I dated him, he never got hard and I pretended it didn't bother me. I go, that's okay. It's like, you know, and the, but here's the worst part. He would always blame me. He goes, well, he goes, I'll tell you the problem is, uh, you know, it's condoms. Oh, I'll tell you the problem is because you don't call it making love. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, you know, the way you are so crass. I go, how am I crass? Did I ever tell the story? He goes, he goes, you're so crass. He goes, why do you call it fucking? I go, what do you want me to call? He goes, call it making love. I, I go, uh, you can't call fucking because he's not fucking. Well, that's the thing. I go, oh, well, I go, the, let me understand me this. I go, let me, fucking. exactly. I go, let me understand this. So you love me? Because he had never told me he loves me. He goes, no, no, I don't love you. And I go, so you don't love me? He goes, no, but you never know what could happen down the road. What? I go, how I'm long not are you gonna... dating this guy for? For two fucking long, six months. So I go, then I'm not calling it making love. You don't love me. I'm not going to call. You know, like, what a weird thing. But it was all because he couldn't get hard. Yeah. So, he so was, he's blaming you. He's making every excuse. Not the fact that he's gay. That's, it's kind of weird because really I have, I do mother, have, I have problems in that all the time. With the for hard years. thing? Yes, all the time. For years. Because you're nervous? You know, in my own head, for sure. I know that's what it is because my doctors even said, like, do you wake up with a heart? And I'm like, yeah, every day. And he goes, yeah, yeah it's, it's in your head, head dummy. So, yeah, um, and I so think it, I, I really feel it stems from the first time I had sex at like 19. What happened? Uh, I didn't know anything about sex. I, nothing. My parents never taught me anything. Your uh, sisters we had never to go showed to you? A, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been so hot for some reason. Um, but <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> But no, nobody, that's the porn we see nowadays. But, um, yeah, so I didn't know anything. I mean, nothing. We we had to go to the movies to see porn, so it was, like, really difficult. But, like, you saw a magazine, I didn't even, girly magazines? Yeah, but, I, but, they, but they didn't have penetration yeah, in yeah, girly magazines. Yeah, how to magazine. do it, right. So I really wasn't sure how it worked. But what I, so the first time I jerked off before, I knew she was coming, it was in college. She goes, I'm going to come upstairs after my parents leave, and we're going to have sex. And... Before she came up, I jerked off because I'm like, oh, I'll last longer that way. I didn't know any better. Oh, she yeah. came up immediately after I finished, so I couldn't get hard again. Oh, like right away. Right. And so and you I couldn't never tell her know that you jerked off. Right, right. So I yeah. never really know whether I was inside of her or not. And I and I was so panicked and nervous that I think that, that first scarred time you. ruined you. I, I have to believe that that's what happened. But now, do you ever? Are you ever with a girl now where it just is good from beginning to end, or you always have that in your head? I, you know, I have sex so infrequently. not infrequently now that I'm not sure anymore. You yeah, know, yeah. and it's yeah, definitely a case by too, case basis. And it. as you get older, it's problematic. Well, so what it about depends. Viagra or Cialis? Yeah, so sometimes I'll Do you pop those. I will take them on an occasion when I am worried that you know I want to make a but good it impression. Might happen. Um, but you know, it's does hard she to... know you're taking them? No, I usually never tell anybody. Well, then the hard on doesn't go down. Um, no, for me because I'm so. <laughs> Broken. Yeah, it does. Um, it does. <laughs> he at, took it goes down. At nighttime, yeah, it, no, it goes down. And uh, at night, I still have trouble even taking that. But in the morning, I'm good. What do you mean in the you morning know, you're good? If, we, if it stays over, Oh, if then you I'm... do it in the morning after you've done it the night before. No, so, no, no if, if I can't maintain, because I'm so uptight, it seems like, even without the Viagra, in the morning, I think I'm more rested. My head is clear. Oh, then and you it, can. And I don't seem to have a problem. So you can get hard in the morning. It's at night. That you're yeah, more and the problem is, girls love having sex at night, and they guys don't like, like to wait till the morning. I hate <laughs> sex in the morning, <laughs> and so Ugh. it's a disaster in every way possible. But uh, yeah, but no, I always have had trouble, love... and I used to make excuses, but never, 
blame oh, he always the girl. The woman, right. because that's just uh, what a gay person does. As a matter of fact, um, I met this girl who I've known since elementary school, and she married the gayest guy in our school, <laughs> who everyone knew. How do women knew. don't know that? That's the thing. He's a we hairdresser. Were, I knew since nursery school <laughs> that he was gay, and I knew who he was having sex with when we were 16. The, the boys, because they all wanted him. He was the prize for some reason. And this girl from elementary school married him. And I told my parents, and they're like, that's not true. He's not. And I'm like, no, no, he's totally gay. And they're like, you should tell her. And I'm like, I don't think it's my place. I know. So nobody wants to tell you. 20 years later and three kids later, which still pisses me off. Because that could you know, have been you. Because, no, no, I'm just saying this guy can get hard. He's gay and he's getting hard and That's having right. kids. So it drives no, me no, crazy. No, 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 no. But, but. Yes. But wait, yes let me just no. tell you the end of the story. Go so I, I go to my friend's um, uh, bar mitzvah. There's, her kids have a bar mitzvah, and I see her, and I haven't seen her in 20 years. And she uh, and I'm like, what's going on? She goes, well, uh, Roger and I are getting divorced. I don't care saying his name. Uh, we're getting divorced. And um, I'm like, oh, well, why? And I'm pretending <laughs> like I don't like, just know. And she goes, well, it, it turns out. I don't know whether you know this, but he's gay. Okay. I, I couldn't even believe it was happening because she's like, you can't tell anybody. And I'm like, no, I'm just going to tell Lawrence. And uh, like, because I, I was trying to be honest with her. I'm totally going to tell. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, because I'm like, I'm, and then I just start You're laughing, and I'm podcast. like, are you are you joking? He, this is the guy we use as an example when we call each other homos, just as a joke, <laughs> being guys. And she's like, wait, you knew? So anyway, the story was, she goes. Uh, well, I didn't know, and I don't know how she didn't know, but she goes, it's your, he blamed her. He goes, it's your fault. And she goes, you don't turn me on. It's horrible. That I, is I horrible. hate him. So, um, and this is only like two, three years ago. So she goes to her mother, and she says, he says it's my fault. And she goes, it is your fault. You need to go to Victoria's Secret. No! You, I swear to God, they were all clueless. And if you met this guy, if you meet this guy, he's going to be like, hey, oh my God, I can't believe we're all together. I mean, it, it's, it's unbelievable. So I didn't go to my last high school reunion because I thought I was going to punch him in the face. Because I was so angry that he blamed this poor... Oh, and I'm sorry, because here's the worst part. He told his daughter he was going to come out at her bat mitzvah. And she's like, Daddy, <gasps> no, please, how selfish is moment. that? That's, how selfish. That's terrible. So that's why I was angry. And did I he also come out? knew... Did he come out? Yes. And I also... Uh, no, he came out He did it anyway. Bum. What a fucking asshole. Are you kidding me? So, the, so I was going to get angry, but then I realized he was going to charm me again. And I, I didn't want to be that person. I knew I could fall for it again because he was very charming. <laughs> and he's like, David, it's wow. so nice to see you. You know, right. it's nice to see just, you too. Because, you know, like. Just because you're gay doesn't mean you can't have sex with a woman. Like he probably how had can, sex. But how? I but couldn't had, have sex with a man. I don't think he had sex with her all the time. I think it might have been once. Got her I pregnant. I know, just to get her pregnant. Like, but I'm just saying, every... I don't think I could ever have sex with a man. I don't think I could get hard. Right. Well, that's I mean, I've thing... really looked into this because when you're not married at this age, I've gone inside myself. I'm like, am I? Everybody keeps telling me I'm gay. Am I gay? <laughs> and then I, I really get it, and I'm like, no, I, maybe. For 1980s John Bon Jovi, and that's probably where it ends because he looked like a girl. But yeah, other yeah. than that, I don't. Well, I don't my think ex husband could, do, could it. do it, but it was very. It, he he never wanted. You know what I mean? Like there was Did always he go an excuse. Down on you? I have a headache. I have a this. Did he I go can't down do, on you? I don't remember. You don't remember? I can't, I don't remember. Well, the we used sex to talk about so, it often, and the uh, thing is, so scarce. Your husband it, and I used to talk about it. It was almost never, and he did tell me that I had bad breath one time oh. when he couldn't. Oh, that's When he horrible. couldn't do the deed. Well, I was, I was tell rushing, you. and I was he comes in the you. room. He goes, "Floss, <laughs> I'm flossing." He told me, "Did I tell you wash up into my nostrils?" Oh, that's horrible. I did all that, and then I did turn to him and I said, "I don't want to fuck you this badly." No, to so, lay that blame so is just yeah, so. Yeah. In, it's your so cruel. ears. It's so I think cruel. the smell's coming from your ears. Oh, that's so mean. How about you just fucking fess up? You're a fucking queer. My therapist said. He didn't like fucking he didn't my like nose is bothering you, you. That you smelled like a woman. That's what she said. Yeah, can well, you rub some not. cock smell on you? <laughs> can you go out and find cock smell? Then I'll feel better. And the worst part is, Patty, it's like, yes. you know, I was so angry at you that you got knocked up when you, I really did think your career was really skyrocketing. But then when I found out who it was you had married and we were working <laughs> together in the 90s and knowing he was just so gay. You knew he was gay, right? Her, I, would I didn't you know have who he was. Knock, would you have knocked her up? Would you have married her and knocked her up? Absolutely. Everybody was. So Patty, there were so God. many fucking guys I, that wanted you. Nobody ever you acted like they idiot. wanted me. Nobody ever I asked used to, me This out. is the problem I had with Patty, and I, we, I got it out of my system, but when she was on that show with Jon Stewart, and I don't know if you guys have spoken about this before. No. They 
that was the cutest couple. They had a Comedy Central show very early on when it might have been called Ha or something else. Yeah, it not was... even Comedy Central. And they were so good together. Like, like I um, him. Do you remember like James Garner and that lady who they thought they were married in those Polaroid commercials? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was Maria, like that. Ma- they Mariska. No, yeah, some, whatever. Her no, name yeah, was. whatever. That's, she was on like yeah, a Mash yeah. episode. Or yeah, something. I remember I her. So they had that kind of rapport. So that's I used to watch it. I'm like, God, these guys are great together. There's, there's a sexual tension. It's really working. And then all of a sudden she shows up pregnant. I'm like, what the yeah, hell is this? But there was no reason for them to fire her. I uh, see. See, he thinks I there is. Disagree. That's the thing. He disagrees. Yeah, this sorry. Is a I know sexist. that's sexist. I know it's sexist. Very sexist. I know it's sexist. Of course, see, this I was back then. Said... They never would have been able to fire you today. Because... But if you're thinking for ratings only, and you're not thinking of the person, and that's the way it was, you ruined the shows. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I, I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm just today. saying, yes, I know, but the Here's rapport the between you two was amazing. But I, I would have never I... told anyone I was pregnant. Well, she was showing. I was what, huge. How, 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 when we, she, eight I was months. Pa- I was, oh, she you was, told she was them about at eight to months? I didn't t- they knew at two, at two months at pregnant, she calls me in. What's her fucking name? Well, you had a stomach? Well, a little bit. The, all the, all well, the, the sound end, guys, was, they all knew yeah. at, at, well, at you must months. have said something. And no, the, I said nothing. I'm standing in the light. I was wearing this pink top, and the guy go, looks at me, and I'm standing in the light, and he could see a bump. He goes, oh, my God. My, sa- my, my camera guy goes, oh, and he says it in front of everybody. He goes, oh, my God, you're pregnant. And I just stood there. I was like, ah, ah, ah. I didn't know what to say. I walked out of the room. I didn't say anything. So then the woman, my boss, who's supposed to be like a feminine, you know, you think, oh, a woman boss, Nancy Geller over at Comedy Central, calls, babe. Babe, she goes, uh, listen, uh, she goes, I want you to stop talking about being married because you're so because right. because we want, you know, I young guys, know that. young guys and to like working. you. And I go, well, I think you should know that I'm pregnant. Oh, and it. I was at three months. I mean, it was show, it was showing. I don't know how she didn't know. It's so funny that you're saying that because I didn't know any of this. And it was she was she, right. She because goes, it was she goes, working. it's all college guys. This was our demographic. Yeah. She goes, so don't Whoa, mention your husband. I go, well, I'm going to be fat. I'm going to I'm going to be pregnant. And she goes, shit. She goes like that. And she goes, congratulations. Yeah. And then I let, but then I knew it was over and they couldn't fire me when I was home and pregnant because that's against the law. So I came back a week later. She fired me. Yep. You know. It, it, for being for Patty, being a I fucking know. girl and being a woman I, you, and having you a baby, have that, I, I should have sued those s- motherfuckers. No, you, you ruined it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was I is, worshipped that show, and you so ruined the wonderful think, sexual tension. I don't think I would have gotten pregnant. We at all that point thought in my you career. were going to. I would have waited. Yeah. A well, little that's longer. the other thing, and that's why this gay guy comes in and gets her I pregnant for some reason. I couldn't because I had endometriosis in the blood. Oh, you could have waited. You could have waited. Believe me, you needed to wait. That's the thing. It was such a bummer. We really thought you and John Stewart were going to fuck. You know what? That doctor needs to get his ass kicked. No, it's but it's it's so funny. I Carrie, you never watched the show. That the, they were so entertaining. I might find together. it on, on the. Internet. I don't we think it's so on anything. We had so much fucking. I have a couple of tapes of him and me. We had so much fucking. I want to see. They it. had and and I. He was such a when she was pregnant. He he couldn't he have still great. been nicer, but it it wasn't working anymore. And then the show just see. I just know. I think that we had the same. You don't you don't understand. It's just that I was. Nancy oh, Geller had it right. I'm one of those boys that got affected by your pregnancy. Let me I'm ask sorry you a question. that's the case. I'm just being honest with you. Right I know, after, it's, right I know after, it's sexist. Right after she had that baby, couldn't John Stewart say, you know what, bring her back in? Yes, but he, he didn't quit. have that kind of power he back then. He quit after okay, I got he fired. He quit, but he hold gave on him a two months notice. But yeah, but he, that's because he had he, another show. Hold on, but, before he had another but show, now he he's got so much power, he couldn't do something for you now? What, now? Like the later oh. years? No, no. When I now tried, they haven't spoken in 20 years. I, I auditioned for his show like two years later when my kid was two years old. Forget it. No, it didn't happen. He wanted to have nothing to do with you because you kind of almost ruined, ruined his career. <laughs> That's the way Stop he thinks. It. That's that the way he thinks. That is what you guys are so crazy. I know that's how he thinks. Brian Plato said it was a great show. Patty, this Thank is you, nothing. Brian we're, Plato. Not, we're not trying to. S A S T. We don't want to make you feel. We're just being Short honest. Short attention span theater. That's the name of it. No woman should ever have to apologize for getting pregnant. That's of course. That's what I mean. But no woman should lose her job I'm just telling you, this is show business, and this pregnant. is television in the '80s, and Forget that's the way it works. Our show is going to be called T A W T. It'll be perfect. T A W T. Twat. Twat. T W A T. It's not very bright. It's okay. Hey, I'm dyslexic. That. Twat, T-W-A-T. Why, How about that? You're the pretty well, that one. That is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny to call it T-A-W-T. Patty's always twat. the one who's pregnant. Twat. No, twat. Twat, twat. twat. 
twat twats. Okay, John should come on the podcast. Do you think you could get John on the podcast? No, he would have. He would never call me back. No, have him on our podcast. Yeah, I, he would never f- agree to it. I don't think he'll show up at the strip. Gonna, <laughs> I, I don't think he shows up at a lot of the I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think he would do anywhere. my po- he would do Why? He would put us on the map. Yeah, he would. There's no way he's going to answer me. I even talked to him. In Why don't you try? Give him a nice. Okay, here's hey, all the people John. I've tried who are not at his level. I've tried Susie Espin, no response. I've tried Elaine Boozler, she did respond and said no. But no, she said maybe when I'm in New York. Okay. Fuck off. I tried. Did we try Sarah Silverman? We tried Sarah. I Silverman. did not try. I don't even know Sarah. Oh, I thought Silverman. you tried Sarah Silverman. No, why would I? I don't know the girl. All right. I would and love to have her on. We have tried different people. All right. Anyway, would you? It, well, are we at an hour? To, oh. yeah, we're over, over an hour. I was just gonna say if you. And uh, uh, this had really nothing to do with the clip or anything, but it's a small, like, if you had it somewhere else, like, in a bigger, like, could you have a couple of episodes at a bigger place? We've done it, but we had We would love to have David Tell back on where he's not making fun of us the whole hour. What? <laughs> excuse? What the hell were you expecting? I love, Isn't that awesome? No, it is awesome. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I wanted like, to. Where are you was going good. with that? I thought he was, was great. fucking That's great. That's the best thing. Except he got here half an hour late he and left. He slammed us around, which I yeah, love. That's yeah, that's what, it's uh, and it's we, the bed. Then he was just smoking get, up a chimney, can't right? Can't you get him back on with us? I mean, I don't want to ask him. You should be, first of all, it's, what the honor he shows it to you an, by coming because he it, likes it you. Was such an and how rare is that? It is. He likes everybody that rare he doesn't that like somebody anybody. Likes me? No, it has nothing oh. to do with you. Oh. He only likes the people he knew before he was famous. I love that's David a high Tell. praise it that really he came is. on the show. It really is. This has nothing to do with you, Penn. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I only no, knew saying, him. He really likes Carrie for I a love, long time. I begged him. And Carrie was very nice to him when he was, you know, having trouble with drinking and everything. Like he respects you, and that's so rare. That's almost the rarest thing there is. I love this. It's like you. I don't even know if he respects me, but he likes he respects you. I know. And that's like a big I have a special bond with him. I think he also respects that you actually got out of the business and went to Long Island and moved on. I think he respects that a lot as well. I did what I felt I had to do. Yeah, no, and he likes that. He really respects it. But he's respected you way before that. He, you know, loved that you worked hard and that you and you were a good comic, and that's why he had you open for him. He, He that's a miracle. I know. I love How it. many people does he respect in this planet? I know, Maybe I don't, three? Right. But, you know, one time he told me I was I had just broken up. Walter and I broke up, and I was hysterical crying. He go, I was at the cellar, and I was getting ready to go you on. Cr- I don't ever see you cry, Carrie. I don't. Yeah, but this was the long-term relationship, and Walter so was now, a nice guy. Right. Even so though now, he wasn't for you, it, it was, you know, that's how you got to cry for a day or two. Day? It was like, well, You know God. what I'm saying. So now David Tell is standing outside the cellar. And I walk up because I got a whatever, 1 a.m. spot. And I go to, uh, he goes to me, how are you? And I go, (laughs) I start hysterical crying. And he looks at me and he goes, leave. He goes, don't ever let them see you cry. Really? He's right about that. Again, it's a very sexist thing, but... Don't let them see it's you cry. It's a boys' Leave. club in that place, and in the cellar, it would it would show weakness. Yeah, I no, I think I had just gone on or whatever. I was oh, done with my spot, wow. and then when he said that to me, I started crying. And he goes, "Leave now." He goes, "Don't let anybody he's, see he's, you cry." Even though he's paranoid, he's completely right about that. It's just like really? people. Will, yeah, I love well, that guy. Even though the, 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 it's a cellar family, and they're all very nice, but you you can't show any fear. No, really. And you know what? Let me tell you something about David Tell. That guy has probably one of the biggest hearts. Yeah, and you can't tell. Like, no, I can. T- I think he seems like a sweetheart. Actually, he is the nicest guy. He's all right. I seen better heads than a mother. No, <laughs> no. And he's a big tipper. Yeah. Always tipping big, like yeah. twenty bucks here, twenty bucks. No, he, he's a lovely guy when when he needs wants to be. To be. No, when he needs when he when he likes somebody like you and he sees you sad and he tells you the right thing to do. Yeah, he was a good guy. I and he also knew Walter. Him. And so yeah, he liked you know Walter. he everybody liked Walter. Um, so and I'm just saying, he, he he is a sweet guy when it comes to that, but it, it's about you as well. He really respects you, and it's, it's kind of cool. I know, I want him to come back on really, the Really, I mean, show. I'm trying to think what other people he respects, and I, I can't, I think Russ Maneev, and that might be about it. I've noticed and like I said, only because he's together. an adult. You're like the cool group, like you and David Tell and Russ Maneev, and then you got Artie. Every picture I looked up at you, it's all those guys. You're all the cool guys, but you're all like single guys. Yeah. You're all like We're single idiots. And but but the cool you know group, what, though, you Patty. Know? In all fairness, this business does not allow you to have a normal life. I mean, it really doesn't. You're out every night. You're trying to make your career happen. You know. I mean, I'm out every night and I'm married, and he lets me. I, I get mean, upset. Not every night, but 
when you said when I get depressed, I get depressed some, sometimes when I think like all my friends are married and have kids and they're you know in college already and it's sad. But then, like my mother is even still fascinated that I can go down to the cellar where everybody's single, you know, and they're still yeah. my age. Yeah. And it's well, like, you know, it, thank God. It's and funny, if it wasn't for the cellar family, sometimes I probably would have killed myself to be able to yeah, sometimes like the Greg, go down there and the the, the Greg Rogels. He's still single. He's single. Drinking. Another one, yeah. And drinking. Russ Maneev even said to me one night, that night that I auditioned, I had like the worst audition ever at the at the Comedy Cellar. But he said to me, uh, I admire that you, because I, I stayed home and I you know, raised my kids, that you got married and you had kids and you raised your kids. He said, I, I think he said he wished he had had kids. Yeah, we all, we're all upset about Which surprised me, because here's what happens. Kids. Ten years goes by in a blink, yes, right? It does. And then another ten goes by in a blink. So before you know it, women obviously either you make that stand and go, "I'm the fuck out of here," and I'm gonna have my kids, and then I'll come back. Yeah, you have to make a choice. I made that choice. Um, so I, I I had to do it. I was thirty five. I was thirty five when I had my kids. And kid. Rachel, what? I was thirty five when I had my kid. I was thirty four. You were thirty four when you were on that show. I thought you were twenty three. She's no, seventy eight no. right now. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really fucking old. No, I was in my 30s. That's why I had to do it. It's like I'm Listen, gonna do I was kids. 40. I was 40 and 41. I didn't realize that. I think you told me that last time, and I was still shocked because you were so cute, you were so young, little. Look at you. Look at yeah. she is. I now. had no idea that why, you, you said, were. I was how really. Oh, I guess God, that I'm makes old, sense. Please. I thought you were 22. Oh, when Patty, that. Oh, you don't like realize 34. how great you look Stop. for your age and everything. You're fucking <laughs> you know, perfect. For your age. Uh, you know. Well, I mean, look, girls her age. No, no, Look, I know. Yeah, holy yeah, shit. No. But can I just say one other thing? Rachel did the right thing because Rachel is yeah. the type of person that needs to be a mother. Yeah. That needs to be married. And she right met the, the right greatest time. fucking guy. Yeah. Irene Bremis set them up. Mm-hmm. They hit See, it off. To set he up. loves her career. He loves her. He lets her do her thing. Yeah. She got a husband like I did. The, the guy lets me do whatever I want. He's yeah. such a class act, my husband. Um. And that's what she got. She got a guy who's a he's got a regular job with benefits. Right, yes, the captain. A pension. He's it's a amazing. captain. Captain of the fire department. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He's going to be the fire chief. My well, my fiance very supportive. He's always like you know. Okay, but he's a fiance. All, yeah. But so, all about comedy. Okay, he but, loves but, comedy. Okay, but he's a fiance. <laughs> so <laughs> we're married, pa- Patty. Results. We're married <laughs> for now. No, but so Rachel got a really good guy, and I believe that that union will last forever because she's going to have a couple of kids with him. She'll still do her comedy. He's going to be a great dad. And it's it's done. That's what she needed to do yep. in her. Otherwise, she would have looked back in her life. And I said that to her. I go, you're going to look back and you're going to regret it. Because not all, not everything, like not all the money in the world, all the fame in the world is, you know. Like right now, Patty, if you would have been successful in yes. that and you didn't have your yes. kids. You know, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have had you know you would have been in your mansion right now, sitting by your pool, <laughs> all alone with your cabana boy. You just don't you know, know how things were going to turn out. You wouldn't have had like your daughter. She refused to take your call the other day. That wouldn't have <laughs> never happened. It's true. No, I love Aren't you my daughter. Glad daughters. you did it. Love Aren't my daughter. Glad. I you love being a mother. want to get more depressed? That guy that didn't invite you to your wedding is right behind you. That's <laughs> Lenny, horrible. Just Lenny, Lenny. God damn him what for not inviting. Why does Lenny look like a lesbian? Because he's an idiot. He looks like a woman, doesn't he? Of course, he looks like not a woman. Really. He is a woman. Wait a minute. Are you friends with Kevin Brand? Wait, you're friends you with don't, Kevin Brand. You can't tell me right now that he doesn't look like a woman right now. A lesbian woman. Wait, let me get my glasses on. He does. Well, he's very thin. He does. He doesn't have shoulders. He does. He doesn't have shoulders. Anyway. But you know what? You're amazing because you're friends with Kevin Brennan and his brother. You didn't have to no. pick between no, the yeah. two. In, in the fact, middle... uh, actually, I get angry when the brothers don't get along. I'm also friends with an, the other another brother as There's well. There's like 40 Which of them. brother? Yeah. Um, Which other brother? Now I can't remember. I haven't seen him in like One 15 years. One of Kevin's years. other brothers? Yeah. And does he not Daniel. speak to that one either? Was it Danny? Yeah, Patrick? Danny, went, right? Was that? Yeah, Danny, because he was an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He moved to Chicago, I think. That's why I don't Chicago. see him anymore. So yeah. you're, you're friends with all three and none of them speak to each other? No, and it bothers me a lot. Wait, all three don't speak no. to each other? You know what? They're all in that's... competition with each other, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's what it and is. And it bothers me that you know, sometimes with... I mean, listen, Kevin's crazy. We know that. But it bothers me that Neil doesn't... It, oh, Kevin's been mean to him, but it bothers me. If not for Kevin, Neil... Would never. I mean, that's right. Kevin he took Neil around him. when he was eleven. That's right. To all the best comics in the country. I mean, yes. it's, it's amazing what he did. Kevin for him. is yes. extremely talented. I think oh Kevin's God, the totally, funniest. Yeah. Funny he's so fucking, fucking funny. talented. But you know, people think he's racist. He's not racist. Oh, I don't, he's not racist at all. But at the all. Funny, people think he 
they think we're in a fight right now. It's so funny. Like it, I get it on Twitter all the time. Oh yeah, and stuff. what was that about? That's what I looked because today. It, I thought maybe it, you he were in thinks a fight I'm with angry at him. Uh, because he canceled on my last birthday show last year. Oh, that's right. You walked. He walked by the window and never went in, or some it, weird story. It, it, it makes no, he what he doesn't understand. He and if he up. wants to be in a fight, it's fine. But uh, you know, when you ask Kevin Brennan to host a show, you if you don't expect that, you're the idiot. You know, if you don't expect them to flake, <laughs> it doesn't bother me in any way. I'll never be mad at him. I love I know, him. I, I love get him, him too. Yeah, I love because him so much. He, the, the thing about too. Kevin, and the best part about somebody like that is when when you're a dick from the beginning and you continue your consistency, <laughs> how can you not like that? I mean, the guy's – think about this. When, remember he took Sarah Silverman's virginity, right? You yes, know this? He, yes, he talks about it all well, the all time. All the time. Every, right, right. every other so here's claim the best thing. to fame. So Sarah was in love with him because that was the first guy she ever Wait slept with. Wait a minute. With. She was in love with him? Well, that was the first guy she ever slept with. So well, he he's was, an idiot. He right, blew right, right. That's the wrong so, guy to so sleep with. So maybe she didn't maybe in love, but she was in, in lust with, you know, like the first guy ever slept with. You shouldn't be talking about the wrong guys to sleep with. Yeah, exactly, Patty. So, so the, 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 when they were together one day, he, she goes, "You shouldn't talk to your girlfriend like that." She's like, "You're not my girlfriend. You can't." And like, no. so they, uh, the end, right? no, but here's the best part. No. Thirty years later, she writes a book. You know, the bedwetter. Yeah. So she I says, read that yet. "Hey, Kevin, can I? Do you mind if I? <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I talk about?" You know what you said to me, like when we were going out and stuff. And he writes back, and I, was, I think she put it in the book. I don't care what you do, you dumb cunt. This is thirty years later, <laughs> like, oh, and that could have helped his career to talk about. He doesn't give a shit. How can you not love that? The consistency. Yeah, yeah it is just is what you all, have to look all the for, way you know. through. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, and well, he is a terrific comic. Too, he is. Really. Yes, he's a, he is. He's brilliant too. And I, he's I, a, I love his he, shit. And he's a very good podcast. He can talk about anything. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we'll be friends forever. We're out of time. Oh, but I had a really good time, you, you know, guys. We, really I want you ha- back. we loved having you. You're we wonderful. love having you all yeah, the time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't talk too much, but that's what I did. No, not so, at all. No, we love it. No, okay, that we need people who talk a lot. We would love to have you back whenever you want. Yeah, anytime. Ideally, I'm sorry, it was all... get Dave, come down. We'll be double Dave. <laughs> I all, f- all four. We would probably do that oh, together. I would really? Love I think it. he would come if we were on together. Yeah, he I would said love also it. We, we're not allowed to ask Dave the other Dave. Personal question about his sex life, about it, girls and stuff. Girls he doesn't like that. All right, we well, tell him we won't there's ask a, There's him about a whole girls. bunch of things you're not supposed to say, but it doesn't matter. Him mocking all of us, I love can't it. Can't lose. He's so fucking great. He ripped yeah. us. He's just so fucking talented. And you know it's he's going to walk out at some point and just and smoke leave. a cigarette and yeah, leave, and then maybe come leave. back again. He'll come back. Yeah, he, I had him and Gilbert at my house doing the podcast together. Oh, I got to listen to that. And um, I he was I hate smoking Gilbert. the whole time, and then he just got up and went into the kitchen and got something, and he's talking like. Over here, when he's just like, like, like as if he doesn't know how a microphone works. <laughs> but you know, who cares? That's hilarious. And I you, love know, you know what to expect when you get him, so it doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, where are you going to be this weekend? What do you mean, cellar? like performing? Well, where, no, where are you going to be? No, where, what do you got to promote? Comedy. What about your I don't your have anything, shows, your... nothing to promote. Pro, promote your what, podcast every uh, The Nightfly. The Nightfly. Dave Nightfly. Jessica. Dave Jessica. That's pretty much it. I don't have anything going on, I think, until December where I have a... Uh, you know, my Christmas show at the Comedy Cellar. I'm sorry. That, uh, I know we're at the Strip, but it's a different comic club. I apologize. Okay, this Saturday I'm at the Comic Strip. This I'll, is right here. Yeah, I'll be here this nice. Saturday. Two shows. So Friday, you've been doing a lot more comedy? I do a lot of comedy. A Friday night I am at a private event. and But Saturday I'm at the Comedy. I'm here at the Comic Strip. And also November uh, third. 3rd I will be at the on. Westbury <laughs> Music Fair. Can you guys see this? At the Westbury Music Fair, that's like a high honor. I mean, that's been around for years. Oh I mean, my that's God, the stuff that... we grew up on when you were at those clubs when that guy jizzed in your face. They're like, come on, the Westbury Music Fair, it's going to be unbelievable. It was like, one of the be- it's one of the best theaters. I've done it so far. It must so be a far. dream come true from being from Long Island and playing there. Like that's you First know, of all, it's everybody's right there. Ron Dell's no present. I've done it twice, <laughs> wow. and this is going to be my third time. November that's the one in 3rd, the it's for breast cancer. That's the one I yes. saw Martin Short there. It was terrific. How Great many people? How many it's people Tom Carter. I'm from Cotta. America's Got Talent. He's, He's this runner-up. He was the runner-up. He should have fucking won, but the guy with oh, the dog Oh, won. my God. That's it's like dogs. my favorite story. That, oh, there was... Not, I was all dog. in Tom Cotter. I love Tom Cotter. He's a, a wonderful person. He's very he funny, great on the guy. Show. And then I was like, I'm voting Tom Cotter. Tom Cotter's going to win. And then that dog comes out in the car with his paw out the window uh. driving. <laughs> and I was like, this contest is it's over. over. <laughs> it's the <laughs> funniest thing I've ever seen. He's the doomed. fucking dog won. <laughs> And then it's going to be Joe Starr, who was on the Kevin Can Wait show. Very Chris funny. Monty, another funny guy. Richie Byrne, who warms up Dr. Oz. <laughs> oh my myself. God, there's so many people on the yeah, show. Yeah, it's a heavy hitter show. But it's the names that are hilarious. And it's like a, a lineup from the 80s. Right. Chris Monty. Dossie Novick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dossie Novick. 
She puts the, the whole show together. It's called Bosom Buddies. It's uh, she had breast cancer. She beat it. She got rid of it. She decided Again, she was going to have breast cancer month. Yeah, Ms. and she she actually started this foundation. She's raised over a hundred fifty thousand dollars for the breast cancer. So I am. I'm doing. Come a, down. Get your I'm, tickets. It's going to be a great show, you motherfuckers. Wow. Friday, I'll be at the comic ah, strip. Gosh. Two shows, <laughs> thanks to Gary Carruthers. <laughs> and then I'm going to be at the Newark Fire Department oh, on I the 13th to to... of October you gotta, you with Tommy Newark, Gooch. Newark. Tommy Gooch. I know, you Kevin better goes, drive I, quick. T- t- Kevin goes, I'm going to be driving to that gig with you. Yeah, you better. <laughs> and I go, you All better right. be there. So I'm going to do that one with Tommy Gooch. Newark Tommy Fire Gooch. on the 13th, so buy your tickets now. Yes. Right. Hi, Paul Quinn. I haven't seen Paul Quinn in a long time. Paul I Quinn love from these Caroline's? people. Paul Quinn, um, anybody else? Yes, from Caroline. No hey, what's up? Paul Quinn <laughs> is watching. Um, Dave should bring Patty and Gilbert together to bury the hatchet. Oh, fuck Gilbert. Why I hate him. Do you have trouble with Gilbert? Oh, oh Gilbert was on. a dickhead to me. I'm sorry. Kevin Powers says you have a mansion, Carrie. Your house is already. It is a big house, but I need a bigger house because my <laughs> ass is getting bigger. I believe that. Not, but not the ass part. Sorry, anyway, that came out. I was talking before you said that. You're so Oof, funny. That was close. We're <laughs> here at the Comic Strip Live on 82nd and Second, and we want Thank you, you to Strip. subscribe to Chick Chat. Yes. We want you guys to like us on uh, Facebook, like us on iTunes, subscribe to us on iTunes, and also on Patreon. Give us your money. Because we're broke-ass bitches, and we have to pay Adam. www.patreon slash chick chat. Am I correct? Yeah, that's Adam? right. Yeah. And, and you can give us a buck. A, a buck, buck a month. Good. What do we make this month? Uh, $15. Perfect. 26 cents. Exactly. Kevin Brennan makes a couple of grand, but he makes fun of us every time I, I know. show. How does Kevin Brennan? we make $15. Do not ever N-word. ask him. All he ever talks about <laughs> is a paywall. I don't know what that is, but he's obsessed with it. Yeah, he's obsessed with it. Never that. ask him that. Um, And Let's also, uh, <laughs> we want to thank uh, David Chippy Chaffee, Real Man Brain Podcast left us a fabulous review. We want to say... Yeah, leave us a good review. Please we, listen to people. Real Man Brain Podcast. It's a shout-out to his podcast. It's very funny. I listen to it. It's There's hilarious. a couple of the, the, the podcasts that you should listen to, but we want to thank all the people that are supporting our yes. little podcast thing here. Our, our, you know, like the Las Vegas girl. She's always... And leave us a review. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Thank all right, you. what else? We love you guys. Dave, just scow, you're the best. Thanks, Thank guys. you for coming. Thanks we so love much. you. Thanks for talking about your hair and yeah. your and dick. your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep it real. And Adam, by the way, we want to thank, thank Adam, Adam. Hineker. Th- thank you for talking about your penis for too. Talk, Adam. No for problem. Putting up with Carrie yelling at you. <sighs> I, I secretly like it. <laughs> he Good likes, night, everybody. He likes a feisty woman. I like a feisty. <laughs> a feisty and a big ass. <laughs> That was fun. That was 